Candles out, make a wish in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinks, you know we gon' pour that. Facts. Got hookah weed, we smoke all that. Facts. That's a true story, I won't lie. Got tools with me, got a crew with me that'll move swiftly, so don't try. Nah, nah, nah. Look what you done started. Shorty got a wagon, she just needs somewhere to park it. If Cupid shot that arrow, I'm just hoping I'm the target. Catch me rolling up in the cut. We gon' light it up and just spark like we here. We See about it, you read about it. 
switch like when Angie Ma went to power. Flex people with hope, I'm feeling sour. It's still New York City, no effing cowards. Brooklyn, where the people yelling, yawa. Fabulous Joel Ortiz, man, the boys are ether. Rest in peace, the birthplace of Aaliyah. High haters, even at the haters, love it, man, no BK. The birthplace of David Blaine, yo. Papoose drops your raise, me while the second Sunday in June is the What's up? <laughs> Did Hero's you just wake up? Nah, I'm just, I'm just out of it. I've been out of it for like two days. Heroes headquarters, Thursday, six to eight. HHPOV, hip hop point of view, you live, now. live in full effect. Bravo, Captain. It's your girl Tay. E the fifth was will be on his way, and sound good, sounds good, forever good. We'll um, we're forever just gonna, good. we're just gonna just leave it like that. <laughs> If he shows up, if he pops up and, and graces us with his presence, then it's all good. Mm-hmm. If not, we going to keep it keep it grand groove and keep it moving. Interesting. We're going to get it started since our guest is already here. Okay. Straight from Tennessee. From, Straight. from New from York. From Rhode Island, New York to Tennessee. Wait, Rhode Island, New York? Florida. Okay. Back up Back. in New York. Okay. To do the little promo tour for the for the book, we're gonna let her introduce okay. all okay. of that okay. though. Okay, but when she but, comes, when um, she comes down, we could have K Fox, K Fox, K Fizzle, K Fizzle, K Fox. Straight from the plane. This is that, real. That's that dedication. This man. is real. When you come straight from the plane with the luggage, like with the luggage, she could have been like, "Nah, I'm good." So let that be uh, motivation. An inspiration for all you other people talking about, yeah, I'm grinding and I'm working. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Whichever seat you want to sit down at, it's your show right now. Uh-oh. Do your thing. She's Sounds here. Like you. Um, oh, man. I know. I, I, it's a couple of reasons why I will. Me too. And a lot of times is my eyes be bloodshot. I'll be done. I'll be having like two hours of sleep. So, I Do just we need be, an intervention? Um, he need an intervention of sleep immediately. You know what's crazy? It's like the, for the last two days I've been trying to sleep and I could not sleep. Like I don't know. I don't oh, know. I just got oh, I just right. got so much on my mind, man. I got so much on my mind. That's it. So you know, it's Quiet all good though. Mind. It's all good Quiet though. K Fizzle Fox, Yo. welcome back. This is amazing. This is my first stop. I like literally <laughs> straight off the plane. <laughs> Straight out of the airport. Straight off the How straight out the, the airport. Flight? Um, so I had two flights. Okay. I flew into Boston. Me that was too, like but no, an hour or two hours, I guess. You want to pull your mic up a little bit yeah. so they can hear you talking. Oh, I get the pink talking. One. Yeah, yeah. We did that um, for you. <laughs> Unicorn, unicorn Born. love. And then from Boston to JFK. So okay. that was like less than an hour. So I spent more time like at airports than actually like, <laughs> oh, than flying. Yeah. Fly. <laughs> I spent more time on the subway. I'll say that. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. crazy. And it's crazy because the subway, you could be on the subway for two hours and that's like traveling. To and them. still be in the same borough. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My commute is two hours every day from Brooklyn. That's like, I mean, that's from the Bronx crazy. to Brooklyn. That's a plane ride to and Boston. And then to go back. So that's four hours a day on or the train. I could be when I'm still in Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That state so is very good, long. Though. It's so across. good, though. I'm across. So. So. The, uh, <laughs> the superwoman of grind. Um, that's what it is uh, your grind doesn't like stop nah it's it's her grind is kind of embarrassing sometimes what? to other <laughs> to, people to whom? Oh, okay. to no to other people like, it's kind of be embarrassing because it's like like you think you know how like you think you're doing it and then you see somebody else and you be like shit i ain't do nothing i haven't done nothing we all have our own path yeah we do We're're we're all going at our own pace yeah but your pace is nice your pace is um it's very amazing. It's, it's a, a remar- marathon it's re- pace. It's remarkable. Yeah. Thank you. Um, talk to us because we got we got some things. Mm. I had to get it. Yeah. I, I I got the original. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the original the one. Book. Yes, the original. The OG. Yeah. 2016 the, the beginning, self-published. The beginning. Yeah. And then I was amazed to see, like, when you got it on Barnes and Nobles and yeah. that thing. And it's like, wow. You know, and, you know, sometimes you just got to do things just to just to get into the zone like it's more than support it's just it's just like it's a must because you never know where this is gonna go Mm -hmm. well can you tell us about what's in front of me because bravo just put this down two (laughs) seconds ago i I I took it out my bag i took it out my bag and it and it came i ordered it and it came and then i ripped it out the box but i didn't even get to look at it like i was just running around it. i just took the box and put it in my bag and been running around I was like, let me open it up and let me see what's looking like. I can't open it on air. I should have opened it on air. You should have. That would have been dope. I I opened my first copies like on Facebook Live because I was like, I was all alone. I was like, I have this moment by myself. But it is, it is, it is your material. So it's all good to do that, you know, and to feel and screaming to be free. Yeah. Talk to us. Okay, so this song has existed since 2011. Yes. Um, when I wrote the song, I was living out of my car, putting together my first EP, Light Shines Through Me. And I wrote the song while I was basically homeless. And uh, yeah, it's opened a lot of doors since then. Uh, the original music video got a lot of, a lot of love. Um, and I eventually did a crowdsourcing campaign, um, and went to Kingston, Jamaica to record a reggae remix at Bob Marley's mm. studio, um, Excuse at Tuff Gong and House of Hits yes. in three and a half days. Congratulations. Yes. Um, and that, uh, the, s- the reggae version, the solo version made it onto the 59th annual Grammy Awards for best pop solo performance yes. and song of the year, I believe. And uh, real claps, thanks. Real claps. Yeah, <laughs> we get you get machines and real. Real claps. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get the virtual and the real. So that was a couple years down the road. But actually, after I went to Kingston to record, I had um I had bought One Love by Bob Marley, which is a children's book. Yeah. Uh, for my boyfriend at the time, he had a five year old daughter, and I came home from that trip and I storyboarded this entire book in one day. It was 11 11 2013 at that point. <clears throat> I actually did it on 11-11, and, and that's the why you initial been release was on 11-11-11. Mm. So two years later, this came out, and then two, I think two years later after that, I can't remember years now, I dropped Journey of a Gemini 2015, so I think it was 2016, yeah. Okay. Um, I was like in my head about this, I didn't know how I, I wanted to do the illustrations, the color, blah, 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 blah. So ultimately, I ended up doing it, all the full-size illustrations, just outlines. And then I was like, oh, it's a coloring book. So I self-published the uh, the coloring book and sold that off my website, sold it at shows. And then I linked with Archway Publishing in the last year or so. Yes. And uh, I did all, everything's by hand. I don't, I'm, me and technology are like, <laughs> Very far apart. <laughs> Very far. Um, so everything's by hands. And so, yeah, just about three weeks ago, it hit Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and there's a digital version on Kindle. There's also an audio book on Google, wow. Spotify. And we're going to get some more real claps. Get some more real claps for that one. So you can sing along, you can yes. read along, you can color along, you can... Is it your yes. voice? Yeah, I narrated oh, it. Cool. Yep. What I, what I like about it and what I think makes it dope is that it's not perfect. Nah. Drawn. And yeah. that's what's make I think that's what really touches the children right there and then. It represents the children to the fullest right there because it's super it's authentic. Not perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Well I wasn't that's why I was so much in my head when I first started doing the illustrations because I'm like, ah, it's not great. And I was like, what am I telling children by yes. like being yeah. so critical of myself right now? Yeah. And it's like I started working the, with the design team at Archway and they were so excited. They're like, You already have this whole brands like because it, you need because us? it's yeah it, <laughs> like literally they were like we'll do borders you've done everything else yeah um so it was cool for that purpose it was cool also because everyone at archway was like i can't wait to get this for my niece or my daughter so to have their support was super cool and uh yeah to open the package from barnes and noble and then i got my author copies and my copies from barnes and noble on the same day wow yes. Because the release happened so fast yeah. once I got everything in. So, um, yeah, so it's been out for just about three weeks, I think, that version. Ta-da! So, and, <laughs> and um, 
like we know you're a musician mm-hmm. or artist a creator yep and i actually made you guys something and i forgot it in it's Tennessee. okay i have to mail it it's to you right. it's no okay. it's so sad like i literally was on the subway and i was like oh Man. It's matted. I have it all in plastic. Oh. We're going to get it. I'm going to mail it to you. We're going to get it. Don't worry about it. We're going to open it up on air. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can that, open exactly. That on air. That's Perfect. what it's going to be. Um, The book, like, because of the, the, the age we're in right now, mm-hmm. you know, and not too many people are into books like that. It's mm-hmm. funny because I actually seen somebody reading a book on the train the other day, and I was like, wow. Yeah, you know, people like a, instead like of, a book, instead book. of like yeah, looking at no, a Kindle, no, no Kindle, or, uh, no phone, phone, straight hard copy, yeah. and I was like, wow, I remember those days on the train, like newspapers and books and people yeah. reading. I collect books all the time, and people stop me on the train, like it's and 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 like, say, oh my, what are you reading? reading? You're reading right. a, I'm book? Like, a book. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to know, like, how do you get the fire in you? To bring back an old tradition and like and be hyped about it, considering that you're competing against the Kindles, and you know, like just In just no longer the physical copy of things. All right, so you know? there's two things to that. Number one, I never left. I told you, me and technology are as far uh-huh. apart as you can get. People are like, oh, my God, you do so much stuff on the Internet. You must be so good. And I'm like, <laughs> I know how to post stuff on Instagram. Yeah. I'm like, this is not rocket science. <laughs> so my natural inclination is to kind of kick it old school. Um, and then the other part is that, um, like, the children that I worked with were a huge point of inspiration for this. Like, they were coming up with dances, drawing yeah. pictures, and, like, Um, You said something about being in competition with Kindle. Well, I'm on Kindle, so it exists there. But in my mind, there is no competition. Literally, I I have lost the the belief that there's any competition besides the old me. Okay. Um, And so that's kind of what I strive for every day is just to be better than I was. That's And Yeah, just keep creating. That's dope. So, it, it, will there be a part two to this? I already finished another book while <laughs> while the publisher was waiting for these. Yeah. Um, while I was finalizing stuff, I literally authored and illustrated an entire other children's book, and it's uh, about a little girl learning to play guitar and kind of the life lessons that come with learning an instrument. Well, I know. Because I had to. I've been learning guitar. I grew up as a drummer. Yeah. And in Nashville, it's you know Music City. Everybody's on guitar. Yeah particularly acoustic guitar so i've been sitting on my guitar i haven't been sitting on it but it's been sitting there (laughs) so i finally got myself into lessons as soon as i moved to nashville i had taken lessons over the years but was never too dedicated because i've always been accompanied by a band particularly in new york and in texas and all that so i was never challenged to learn an instrument outside of what i knew from drumming yeah and so yeah so learning the guitar i learned a lot about myself (coughs) i read a book called a zen guitar offered by my guitar teacher and i read that and i was like oh my god like guitar is just life it's just learning life in a different way yes so and you basically learn the same lessons as an adult as you do as a child that's that's all we're ever doing is just learning so i just kind of simplified it i taught like a chord in the book and stuff like that i broke down i think a g chord yeah and showed the hand structure so and i've been doing a ton of artwork so the illustrations are getting better and so with the uh, with the with the book will there be um have you thought about well i know you <coughs> probably thought about it already live performances yeah 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 oh so i just uh my book's gonna be featured at the miami international book fair this more claps wow. <laughs> more claps uh there's like, gonna be like two hundred thousand people <laughs> there's gonna be two hundred thousand people at that street fair in miami i will be in town for it um and then the next one coming up is going to be in Arizona. And my first official book review was by a teacher and a mom in Arizona. So I'm getting into that book fair mm-hmm. and I am going to her class to do a performance and a reading. Nice. And that was the the release of it was 2016. I, it, I did an 11-11 anniversary show. It was a five-year anniversary show. We did a reading. I did it with um, my friend's daughter, Sky. She helped me read. We went like page for page. Yeah. And then, um, well, you were there. You saw. Um, and then after the reading, I had, I gave, like I produced a show. So we had a few bands play and then I, I headlined the show. 
Um, so yeah, it goes hand in hand because obviously it's based on the song. Um, I'm kind of interested in doing somebody else's song and doing a book. I was listening to a song the other day and I was like, oh, I want to do this. But it's like the artist is not alive anymore. Yeah. But I love her music. I grew up taking voice lessons, studying her music. And it's um, Sing by Karen Carpenter. Mm. And it's all about like, don't worry about if it's not good enough for anyone else to hear, just sing, sing a song. So just, again, it's just about allowing people to, to, hear their voice to use their voice and i think that we live in a time right now that that is incredibly important for the next generation coming in in particular to just really trust themselves because it took me my whole life to do that yes did you um target any specific age group so i used to be program director for boys and girls club for their after school program in new rochelle and i worked with kindergarten through fifth grade so that was primarily the age group that i was working with the ones that really, really took to it outside of like some little girls that were just kind of obsessed um, with the song, with me as an artist, which was amazing. Um, but it was mainly the kindergartners, first graders, and second Sorry. graders. Okay. Yeah. But honestly, my first read throughs of the book were with adults. And they were like, oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> so I was like, all right, it's a hit with adults. I think I can get the kids. I mean, yeah, definitely. Because I, I feel like, pro- especially in New York, the adults are a little bit more critical. So <laughs> just a little bit. And so we got the book dropping off. Yep. You Thank you for ordering that. That's amazing. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um,. You got the marathon coming up. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Are you running? Talk no. to us. Heck She's performing. No. <laughs> I was like, wait she a said, minute. She said, I do a lot of things. I do a lot of things, but that, nah. I won't be every doing year, Every say, year, I'm like, maybe just... next year. Yeah. Maybe and then the year, year comes and it'll be like, nah. I'm like, I'm tired. I'll, I just like ran for the train. I'm good. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll be in the Bronx. I this, the dis- ah. the, like the um, actual location is I'm confused right now. We're usually at Willis Avenue, uh, right under the mobile station. So we literally welcome the runners as they mm-hmm. make their way into the the okay. Bronx, which is the final leg of the race. So I thought we were gonna be there, and then I heard 138th and um, Alexander, which is just the same thing. It's same basically thing. the like same down thing, down yeah. 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 right? It I don't think they would feel like that when they're running the marathon. Like, <laughs> that is not the same thing. <laughs> oh well, you know. But I'll be in the Bronx. Yeah, um, those in, in the Bronx, the we all stops. know it's the same. You'd be like, right? Yeah, man, Essentially, it's right. a mad long walk from the train. <laughs> um, Do you know average like what time or will you all, be all, there, day. Like, all day? I'll be there all day. Okay. I've been doing that for like. I want to say I did the first marathon, uh, sang, did not run, uh, in 2011. Then I had a couple years off. I think I've been doing it for like five years or so. Mm-hmm. And I'm with uh, Zaya Music. It's actually his spot. So he's the one who always invites me. And DJ Ace of Spades will be running music. Okay, okay. Because okay. yeah. I was going to ask, like, you know, singing for that, like, are you recognized by Bronx officials, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so um, it was pretty cool. Last year when we were setting up, uh, Cool Herc showed up mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. showed a lot of love, which was super awesome. Um, and then we had fans who were used to us being on Willis Avenue who literally came and found us because they were like, <laughs> you weren't at your spot. So there were, all these kids came up and they were like, hey, Fox. I'm like, oh, man. That's what's so right. they were pretty official. That's that's Bronx official. Okay. That's it. She She's said, like, I'm, those are the, said, of the as Bronx. As long as, long as cool her <laughs> yeah. right. gives, you, gives you a pass we're good. Right. and congratulates you, that's all you need. You don't right. need nobody else. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? So and he's all about the community too. So all I just day, really appreciate that. All day, every that. day, yeah. and that's all I've ever really been about. Yes. So so after after um your little promo run here, yep. the promo run in New York City. Yep. What's the next stop? Miami. Um. Well, yeah. Actually, before that, I'm performing tomorrow at Funkadelic Studios for Funk Fridays. I'll be doing a gig with uh, Jade Zabrick, uh, accompanying me on guitar because I did not bring my guitar. Yeah. Um. And then Sunday's the marathon, for, uh, and then Monday I get back on the plane. And then Ooh. I believe I have my first writer's round in Nashville December 1st. Okay. Um, writer's rounds are basically where songwriters are presenting their songs, so it's a bit different than the scene here. Yes. Um, so mm. it's really for the purpose of like pitching to publishers, getting the songs out there, either selling them to artists or for licensing. And does that go in rounds, or is just everybody you can just Every, sign goes, up and register? No, nah, you have okay. to get selected for it, and it's usually about three or four songwriters, and each person does a song, and then it goes back around. Each person okay. does a song 
song goes back around. Yeah, and that's kind of the that's the kind of the the norm in Nashville. Okay. How do you feel about Nashville? Like, what's oh, what's man. the energy in Nashville? It's so crazy, right? Because I was watching and my last interview with you guys, and you guys, I was talking about moving to Austin because that was that's yeah. been the plan for Ooh. mad long, and you guys were like, I can't remember which one of you asked me, and you're like, Is there a close second? And I have no recollection of this, but I watched the video and I was like, I'll be damned. I said Nashville. And I have no Aww. recollection of ever having any consideration of moving to Nashville funny. prior to this year. Um, Nashville's amazing. It's very different. Southern hospitality is a real thing. Mm. Yes, it is. Yes, it Holy is. cow. Indeed. Like, I thought they were joking nah, when I moved it's, there. It's like, I was like, are, are you real. serious? It's scary. Are you serious, bro? Yeah. yeah, it's scary. And I'm so yeah. nice, right? Yeah. But I just thought, like, I was the only person that was kind of like yeah, that. Nah, they're, but they're, they're like, they're just so, a whole nother level. so nice. Yeah, they're a whole nother so level. So nice. Yeah. Um, and it's Music is City. It like, is it competitive? Yeah, I mean, to whatever degree it is, there's a lot more sense of community there. Okay. Like, that was kind of what my issue in New York was starting to become, was that it just didn't feel like a big community here. Mm -hmm. It felt like a lot of competition, and it was like, I already told you, I don't, I'm not of the belief that we're in competition. So mm -hmm. I was already kind of starting to not fit in here in that way yeah. i mean i love new york i love the scene i love all the venues i've gotten to play i've loved all the opportunities all of that but it was just time for a change for me yeah. it was time to shift gears and it created the space for me to have a lot more peace and quiet and focus on getting stuff done i i realized that like I got off the, the plane and I never stopped moving. And I was like, oh my God, this was my whole life in New York. I just yes. never stopped moving. Mm -hmm. So day. it's like, sometimes when I go, I just go on vacation, mm -hmm. I went to DC and it was relaxed, cool. cool. I was like <laughs> yeah. at, at peace for some moments. Yeah. The second I got back to New York, it was like, move, move, go. move, go. go. And I was like, oh my God, I can't do this. And then like the guilt of not doing that. Like, yeah. oh my God, I'm not at an event. I'm not performing. Yep. I'm not you doing blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yes. I've I've gained so much more of my power in being still and being very deliberate and yes. and saying no. Yeah. And saying no to get to the bigger yes. Because here I was like saying yes to everything like giving my life away to stay on the grind to keep my presence up to da 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 da, da. and it was like I'm exhausted and I'm broke. Mm -hmm. This isn't like this is not working here. Yeah. So um, yeah, so it was just time for me to shift gears, and I'm very, very thankful that I did because it's it's been nothing but really. I mean, it's it's been super hard. This is the furthest I've been away from my family. There's a lot of stuff going on with my family, so that part's been hard. But um, but in terms of music and my career, You're Nashville's better. lit. Yeah, yeah. And and do do you feel that your music is more accepted or appreciated in Nashville than in New York? <clears throat> that remains to be seen because I have yet to really perform in Nashville that much. I performed wow. at this summer's uh, NAM, uh, summer NAMs in Nashville. So I did a show called Balcony TV. It was the first time I come, I played guitar yeah. while singing. It was televised. I'm like, yeah, no pressure. Good job. And you and you did that the first. And that was my okay. first performance. So I was like, all right, let's get this out of the way. Um, and I didn't die. And uh, mm -hmm. I was no Jimi Hendrix, but I, you know, I played <laughs> my my music. Yeah, you got to take um, risks. So that was amazing. And that opportunity actually came from a recording academy event because I joined the Nashville chapter once I moved there. I've been a New York chapter member for the last two years. And uh, the Recording Academy had an event with Linda Perry, who's written for Christina Aguilera, mm -hmm. Pink. She most recently is working on a soundtrack with Dolly Parton for the movie Dumplin', which is produced by Jennifer Aniston. Wow. That's coming mm -hmm. out this month, I believe. So anyway, she was in town, and she had a craft session. I was sitting in the front row. I was like, I am here for this. I like This is like who I want to work with. Mm -hmm. She is my spirit animal. I sat in the front row, she's doing her interview, she literally stops her interview, looks at me and she's like, what's going on with you, who are you? And she invited me to come up on stage. During her interview, I'm like, "What?" I'm bawling my eyes out at this point. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> so she comes, so I go up, I'm like trying not to cry. 
And so she has me share a little bit about my story and why I was so emotional because I was like in the front row, like tears streaming down my face because so much of what she was saying was resonating with my story and mm-hmm. my journey and like my belief about my purpose in music. And uh, so she's like, well, you, you have music, right? Do you have music with you? You have a card? I'm like, I just moved here from New York. I have everything. What do you need? Like, What's up? What's up? I'm ready to <laughs> like, go right now. Yeah. Like, let's go on this promo run right now. Um, so she took all my stuff. And um, that so that opportunity, one of the people who was at that event saw what happened and reached out. was like, hey, I'd love for you to come on my show. Yeah. And that's how that came about. And it was, yeah, I've been to like two other events since then. We just recently passed the Music Modernization Act, which is historical uh, for creators in terms of the legislation that's been changed as a result of the music community literally just coming together finally and having one voice. Um, So now every time I go to a chapter event, everyone already knows me. It's like I've literally only been to one event, and every time I walk in there now, they're like, Catherine. I'm like, oh, my God, this is crazy. (laughs) So, yeah, so shout out to Linda Perry. I love her. Um, I was Dolly Parton, actually, for Halloween yesterday. I've seen that. It was lit. Dope. Check my Instagram. Doesn't Dolly Dolly have, like, her own... She has Dollywood. Yeah, Dollywood. She has Dollywood, and she has... uh, I'm going to mess up the name. Sorry, Dollywood. It's like Imagination Library, but she has a whole, um, it's all access for books for kids. Yeah. Like, wow. un- like unlimited access to books oh, for wow. children. So you know what's on the agenda. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you are that knew. up in there. You that up knew. in there. But yeah, and any, anything to like partner with Dolly Parton and it's, it's, like it's, empower children. Yeah, she's a, um, she's an icon beyond icon. Like, Goodness Like gracious. she's on a whole, like there's certain people that, you just don't you can't even mention them because they're just they're on a different level uh, she's getting named as person of the year through the recording academy through music cares this year yeah well well deserved she's Mm. incredible very selfless amazing i got to see her this this summer at um the music biz conference in nashville and she's like the littlest, smallest <laughs> little, yeah. but she like radiates light. Yeah. Like it's like seeing a unicorn in person. Yeah. Mm. It's she's her energy she's, is. I think really I think I level. think she's the definition of of country. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. She's the definition. She's amazing. Of that, she's like. she first performed at the Grand Ole Opry when she was ten years old, and she's been a member since the sixties. Mm. And um, her contribution to country music, to television, movies. I mean, think about nine to five and like one of my favorite movies. Holy cow. She's just, I mean, (laughs) then you think she wrote, I will always love you. That was for Porter Wagner. But then fast forward to Whitney Houston. And it's like, it's one of my favorite songs, her songwriting, her musicality. Like she is goals. She's goals. So I'm a Foxwood grand old Opry. Yes. Right. Yep. I've heard about it. I know about it. I got a t-shirt from there. Oh, nice. I had some, some people from Tennessee. <laughs> they gave me a t-shirt. He's like, gee, thanks. I don't know what this and is. And I rock it. <laughs> Thank you very much. But um, I want to know. like what that's about? No, no. That, and I want to know the scale of how how big is that? Not in yeah. size, but how big is it compared to something that we can probably so, relate to? Okay. So the Grand Ole Opry is essentially, um, it's existed sin, uh, since 1925 uh they just turned 93 Ooh. yeah 19. 93 Ooh. they just turned 93 this october actually um and they are i mean it's the the stage that made country music famous yeah so it started as a life insurance company and then mm-hmm. um they started running the radio station out of that and then it's just evolved this is their sixth location at the grand Ole opry house it was the first venue that was specifically built for the purpose of the Grand Ole Opry. Everywhere else, they were at Ryman Auditorium before that, War Memorial Auditorium. They were visiting all these places, but it wasn't their actual home. This was the first place that was built specifically for that. Mm. Um, So that was in 1974. They went to the Opry House, built the Opry House. 2010, there was a flood that completely devastated everything. Um, It took two weeks for the water to recede. There was over four feet of water inside the Opry House. Two weeks for the water to recede. Um, Four months of 24-hour day restoration. They opened the doors back up, but they never missed a show. They have never missed a show 
Since right. 1925, they are the longest running live radio show in history. They've never missed a Saturday night, no matter what. Like floods, wars. Hey, let's give like, it up for history. Right. Let's War, give it up for history. We Ain't nothing right. stopping wow. it. Nothing. Ain't nothing stopping this show. Nothing. So, and it's evolved a lot over time, but like, so the, the pioneers of that are like Porter Wagner, Roy Acuff, Dolly Parton. She's kind of early on, Minnie Pearl. Um, but now today, it's like Carrie Underwood, Blake Shelton, yeah. Rascal Flatts. The new, the new I just ran into Rascal Flatts when I was there the other day. Ooh, and they, I that's had a to, good run into. <laughs> I have, oh, I I have into an obnoxious amount of stickers on my car. Yes. Like, I am oh, a billboard. And the lead singer comes up to me. He's like, I love all the stickers on your car. I was like, oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> I was like, such a would nerd. Because I'm no. such a nerd. Like, if you saw all my stickers, you'd be like, what is wrong with this girl? Like, I have a vanity plate. I have a K-Fox vanity okay, plate hey. with, like, music on it. Get it's it got done. a guitar on it. I have K-Fox bumper sticker. I have Janis Joplin, John Led, uh, Lennon. Bob Marley, like I've like have every musical influence that has ever David Bowie. It's on my car. It's They're all on my car. So <laughs> did you did you learn all of this prior before no. moving to Nashville? Or I had not been to Nashville? Grand Ole Opry in twenty five years. My brother actually got married there. Oh, uh, wow. He got married at Opryland, and funny story, but. <clears throat> A little ominous. He, they were taking their wedding photos, and if you've ever been in Opryland Hotel, it's like huge. Yeah. There's waterfalls inside, like it's a whole universe. You can take boat tours inside the hotel. It's yeah. like so. They were taking their wedding photos, and my brother dropped his wedding ring in one of the waterfalls. They had wow. to turn the waterfalls off to find the ring. Oh, wow. He just got divorced a little while ago. <laughs> I was like, man, I could have seen that. <laughs> so all of that, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how we like, ended. Twenty five no. years later, I could have called it. I could have yeah. only based on her reaction. When if the you could have ever seen her freak out, I was like, "Oh, he's in for it! Like, this is your wedding day, and this is what's happening! Like, red flag, red flag, red flag, red yeah. flag, red." Yeah, that was no. telling you so. So anyway. Anyway, he's good. He's on uh, like okay. every dating site in the universe no. right so, now. That's every real. time that's I see him, I meet it. Oh, I hope he's not watching. He's I hope he's watching support support right. HHPOV. Right, watch and support and date him because he's dating everyone in Nashville right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, true. Uh, he's showing them his grand opera. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Should I give everyone his <laughs> Tinder? <laughs> wow, wow. Oh man. It's deep. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So the Grand Ole Opry is amazing, and when you come to town, please come to the Grand Ole Opry. Yes. It is incredible. There's is so much history. Even if you yeah. are not a fan of country music, it's it's just undeniable history in mm -hmm. music yeah. itself. I think and, I think when I, you're a fan of music, yeah, it's just yeah. and you it's have part to appreciate of, it's part everything. Of the, For sure. you know, part of history and the culture, and it's just good to know about it. And, and that it, like, long wow. standing of a tradition. Yeah, I mean, you can't beat I'm that. trying to think now. It's incredible. What were there any collaborations between country and hip hop? Yeah. Country and hip hop. Nelly, yes. Nelly and Nelly um, and Florida Georgia Line. And it's kind of it? a hip hop N thing. Nelly and um, this guy. Oh yeah. Oh man, I forgot. You, you I don't know the name. Nelly. Nelly. <laughs> it was a country joint. I <laughs> okay. I'm going I don't know. Down, down, baby. No, nah, it was Wait. another one. Hey. It was off the um. I think it was off the second album. <laughs> that's that's country grammar. That's that's okay, that's I close. Mean, that's a great collaboration right there. Um, I mean, I don't even know but, if it's a collaboration, um, but it's about country. Okay. I think um, <laughs> close. I'm gonna find it. All I right. think um, I don't know. Let me think. I mean, it's getting there. So if you talk to people in Nashville right now, they're like, "Whoa." Yo, oh, that's the song. Oh. That, yeah, yeah see, that's that was it. Aggressive. That was it. Over and it. over yeah. by Tim McGraw. I know it. Says God. It's like, <laughs> what is happening? I was like, oh my God. Um, <laughs> Thanks, God. Tim McGraw. Okay. <laughs> but I think. Tim McGraw's um, lit. Yeah. Him and Faith Hill are everywhere. If you look like on billboards. Oh my God. All you see, like all the billboards are music. Yeah. Of course. Spotify playlist. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah. I mean, it's like so Mercedes dealership is Music City Mercedes. Like every it is a oh, music wow. driven community. That's like if dope. you took music out of there, there is no Nashville. Yeah. yeah. We we just met with um one of the reps running for the house. I'm a district advocate for the recording academy. So we were just meeting with them. And what Shannon Shannon Sanders, he runs The Ville, which is a radio station there. He's a trustee of the Recording Academy for the Nashville chapter. But he was like, if you took music out of New York or L.A., 
they'd be okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's still, like other industries. They still have other things. Other stuff they got going other things, yeah. Correct. There's yeah. a million and one different things going on. If you took music out of Atlanta, fine. You have film. You have all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. If you took music out of Nashville, That's or if you're not properly paying the people, the creators, that you be recognized. You have yeah. no city. That's yeah. deep. Yeah. We are music city. Do, are yeah. are like, people who live there all into music as well? Yeah, like, like every like five so feet. It's it, okay. It's like picture New York, but on crack. Well, not that way. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. We did. We right. did picture it on crack. We did. <laughs> right. Yeah. We really did more than picture it. <laughs> I, anyway. Um, but yeah, it's like literally like every other person you talk to is either a singer, singer, songwriter, producer, engineer, um, a publisher okay. um because it's not just it's so also it's not like, like a regular regular okay. no no and not only that it's also a huge mix so like in new york it's like yeah i rap yeah i rap with my mic like get my, my mixtape mix tape, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly oh like here's the trash so anyway <laughs> <coughs> sorry Burn. Um, I I, love there's the like a tapes. meme of that where it's like, this is where I put my mixtapes is right yeah, next yeah. to the trash can. <laughs> anyway, um, but there's such a mix of music professionals. Okay. So because every single, um, PRO is there, BMI is there, ASCAP is there, CSAC is there. Ooh. Then you have CMT, which is country music television. And then you have Grand Ole Opry. Then you have the Ryman. Then you have Broadway, which is literally a venue every single step down Broadway. Wow. It's insane like i don't know how you don't hear them in the next venue but literally yeah and how's the so. weather like because i'm thinking about visiting but is it this country it's, it's no. switches. so okay so i moved there on christmas day and i got there just in time for the fourth coldest new year's eve in history it was four degrees and everyone assured oh, me no. that's not what it was really like i had spent the last two months of the year in florida i had two suitcases from florida because all my oh, stuff was in suits. storage in new york yeah. yeah i was like tank tops <laughs> short shorts this is not working. I have to go buy thermals and a winter jacket. So it was four degrees. And then, like, they closed school twice because it was too cold. They're just like, no, it's just too cold. Then, like, if it just, like, flurries, they cancel school. Because they have they no don't salt have the, They trucks. don't have the machinery. Because it does it yeah. so infrequently that they yeah. can't justify the cost. Oh, wow. yeah. So okay. they just shut everything down. It's cheaper to do that because then it's so infrequent yeah. that they never done. use. Okay. My, dad, my, my dad, my brother pulled out the salt because it was like icing that's a thing there too mm -hmm. and he was like i haven't used the salt in two years yeah. so like this is okay. not usually like this okay. i went to get my license the lady was like last christmas i was on the motorcycle with my husband and i was like oh my god because yeah. it was freezing and i was like i can't even picture that right now yeah, but it's yeah. all over the place the summer is like I've never been to Africa, but I would assume that African heat is pretty hot. <laughs> I think it's something like that. It was like a African bajillion heat. degrees. Okay. Yeah. Like, I love the heat. I like, do too. That's why I asked because I, I love the heat. I'm a and summer baby. I was Leo. a little overwhelmed. Like, I just got a car with a sunroof, and I was like, it's so hot I can't open the sunroof. Okay. Yeah. It's that hot. Like, it's yeah. hot. Okay. Also a Nelly reference. Hot in here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. on the yeah. bars, <laughs> bars. <laughs> uh. So now let's talk about um, the Grammys. Okay. What's going on? What is go what's you going? You got any? On? You you have some work what's that's being on? considered. This is my third year under Grammy consideration for a project. Okay. This is my first ever time under consideration for a spoken word project. I put out a 12 track spoken word project called Maktub on September 3rd. And it is a compilation of writing that basically didn't make it into music, but it was like writing after meditation and contemplation, a lot of healing and a lot of stuff I was scared to share. And that's exactly why I shared it because I realized there was a place for it. And then once I heard the response, I was like, oh, okay, this was the right thing to do. So, so yeah, so that was under the, I just cast my ballot yesterday. That was the deadline for the first round ballot. So Mac to made it onto the first round ballot for the Grammys. That was my third year under consideration. Hopefully third year's a charm. And uh, I believe my piano player, Nephi, is coming to the Grammys with me this year. Mm. Woo! Nice. She's nice. ride or die. She's a so, played with me forever. Yeah. Let's let's put it out there. You win the Grammys. I win right? the Grammys. You win the Grammys. I like this conversation. Let's you go. Win. What is what is the next process Ooh. after that? 
<sighs> the world. No, I don't know. Um, Take over I've, the world. I've, I've really been working on trying to get to South Africa for a little while now. I, I want to get my book into the hands of a friend out there who has a literacy program. Mm -hmm. I really just want to use my platform to, like, heal the world. No big deal. That's it. That's it. No, that's, no, that's no start. But you, you want some money, though. Yeah, no. That's I mean, I need the money to be able to fund. To right. Yeah, I, to that's maneuver, essentially maneuver. really all I ever desire money for is to keep creating. Yeah. Yeah. To keep a roof over my head and to keep creating. Keep doing your thing. Because Comfortable. more than anything, I want to give it away. Yeah. Like, that is... Who was I just hearing about that? They gave, like, a bajillion. I don't know, bajillion's my favorite number. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. they just gave so much money away. And I was like, wow. Give it to me. Oh, it was the, I think it was the author of Harry Potter, maybe? Oh, oh yeah. She oh, gave yeah, half, yeah, her, half her, She gave half her earnings. Yeah, away. I was like, that's to, what I want to do. But like, to yeah. who, though? I was confused. To charities to cha and things. Okay, just, I was like, she just gave it out. She my, just, she's like, I'm never going to use yeah, this money. Like, yeah, I'm in my she, lifetime, I'm yeah. never going to be able to spend well, this money. Well, she's ridiculous. She's amazing. Yeah, she, she well, has that's a whole too much money. Yeah. That's fine. Like, yeah. She got a yeah. she, so she got Fox, billion when you, dollars when you, first. when you win that Grammy. I'm looking for those kind of problems you know. right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm about to say. <laughs> Send <laughs> some of that charity money here. Let me know your charity. And then we good. got you. <laughs> She's like my but, mailing um, address. Is. I always <laughs> wanted to know. Like I always wanted to know. Like yeah, the Grammys <laughs> is a is a big <clears> thing. That's huge. I always wanted to know, like, how does it catapult artists like I, I really never understood I don't know yet where does the where, like how does it take them somewhere besides like because when you're already famous and you're already you know right a star, then it's like you don't yeah, really Grammy. need that you already right. you know what I'm saying so for a regular like for a person that's not on that caliber of stardom I know the Grammys can do a lot you know yeah. you can do uh, appearances and you get things I just always wanted to know how does that work in the favor of for the, the artists, artists. yeah okay. uh, like there's a lot of notoriety i mean there are people all over the world that they're like uh, at that recording academy thing that we we just had the meeting um one of the, the women in there was saying like you know she works with artists all over the world and their goal is to come to america and win a grammy this is like mm. a coveted thing but for me what i've come to learn and realize over the last few years of being considered for the grammy was Setting that goal for myself, it w had nothing to do with the award itself. It's who I became yes. working towards yeah. that goal. And that's, I already won. Like, I've won three years in a row based yeah. on what yeah. I've been able to accomplish as a result of just keep pushing myself forward more and more and more. Um, it has nothing to do with the award. And, and I've really realized that now. And it, I'm super thankful for that because... That's phenomenal. It really is. Cause like you said, nobody... <laughs> Or people dream of that and wish yeah. that and, and want that in their career and probably will never have that. And you've got to have three years. Yeah. That's it's, fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. Like, I sometimes, uh, one thing that's happened in the last year because I've quieted down a little bit, all my Facebook memories start popping up. Yeah. And I'm like, golly, I'll look at one day in the last seven years and I was like, I did three events that day. I was at two shows oh. that year. <laughs> I, I'm like, good yeah. Facebook will remind you. Wow. Like, I was like, I need to like, for a hot second, just give myself a pat yes. on the back and be like, all right, you can sit down for a few minutes. This is. You know you what know. upsets me though sometimes is that um, a lot of people are like, well, you know, it, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on my different thing. And I'm like, I always get upset of like when you see people putting in an abundance and ridiculous work that they should be certain places. Like they deserve mm. to be certain places, okay. and then you see somebody that really doesn't uh, uh, care about their talent. You know, they really don't care. They just and, and they, they're, they're further, in it for the money. Unquote, and here they're like there, and you like, and I always and I it, it, it like it hurts my feelings when it comes to a lot of artists. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> and people don't want to admit it, but it bothers me because I know what it's like to put in a ridiculous work. And then somebody just comes out of nowhere and it's like, and it's like, what the fuck? But I think I that do? comment that you said is very humbling of just being grateful for, like you said, the considerate. Like I, when you said that, I had to take a deep breath and was like, you know what? That is very true. Like, no, I mean, I mean, very, I mean, I, 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 yo, you got to be humble yeah. and I, I get it. But at the end of the day, deep inside, you're like, oh, yeah. The so just in what response, is, what are you what are doing? can we vote? 
What no. am I doing? No, we can't we vote. I'm about to be member. like, oh man. I know everybody. Everybody in the world's like, yo, how do I? How do I vote? I'm like, you can't. I'm sorry. Um. But just to kind of piggyback off of what you're saying or what you were just saying is that I was that artist, right? I was the artist grinding. I just told you that was my experience in New York. I'm like doing 18 shows a day, like selling three CDs at the end of it and like coming home and had, yeah, so it was exhausting. And someone came up to me at one point and they said, dang, K Fox, like you've done everything. You've like, you've put out an album you came up with the children's book you did da 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 what's missing and i looked at them and i said self-worth mm. and that's the difference that is the difference between those two artists that you just spoke of those two caliber of I artists agree. is that that artist that is up there believes in themselves and they believe they deserve to be there and that's what catapults you there is your belief that you are going to be there Whereas everyone else is like, oh, I got to struggle. I got to, there's a, that's a common belief within musicians that there's some, there has to be some kind of struggle involved. Then you see other artists that literally just bam, that's self-worth. Yeah. That's like, that's just an unrelenting faith to the point where it has no space, but to go anywhere, but up like it just has no, mm. no choice. Yeah. Self-worth. So self-worth. self-worth. Okay. You know? We got to sit down. He stepped in the building. Uh-oh. He came in, he, came he, tried to, he tried to sneak in, he tried to sneak in the, around my back and yeah, everything he ever here. You got H2O up in the building, man. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I feel like I should have worn camouflage. What's up, what's up man? What's up? I got, I I got, little, I got a little camo. Oh, oh, I didn't get the I got memo. Cam- you didn't get the memo. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you too. We got a little cami. Hey. We got a little hey. cami going on. Slim Sue, Slim Sue. Yeah. Slim Sue. Yeah. I think it's a Halloween thing. Slid in, you know. Did not send me the memo? Oh, man. Right, so so that's good. your new book, Foxy? Yes, Over there? sir. Can I see? Can I see the book? That's the soft cover. Mm-hmm. That's the paperback. There's a hard cover. I think I got one in my bag. I think. I got so, everything. So, Foxy, do you know H2O? I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure I, do. I figure you guys know each other no. somehow, somewhere. As somewhere. Much as you guys in passing. Seen. Over yeah. the years. <laughs> yeah, right? Over the years. Going by each other. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's yeah. going on? I see Well, because also you I was the COO and a blogger for What's Hot in Hip Hop. Oh, com, yeah, yeah. So we had this, uh, mm. That's what's up. She's just dropping <laughs> gems everywhere. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> anyway, what's shout out to What's Hot in Hip Hop. What's up? So um, have you ever been to the um, Bowling for Peace event? The, oh, um, you know what? Mm. I don't believe I've actually been to one. I have mm. tried to get to them. Mm. Sometimes I I recall there being actual schedule mm. conflicts because mm. I told you I've been at like three events a day for mm. ten years. Wow! So, wow. but I have I have supported them virtually. Mm. Okay, mm. that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's important as That's well. Yeah, I, yeah. I support them like you know morally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm virtual. I'm aware of I'm, I'm aware of the events. I'm aware of. The growth of the events and and your dedication to it, which is that's good, commendable. That's, so. that's that's feels good coming. You know when you don't you never met that person in person, yeah. And then they talk telling you about the event and how you know it's having an impact on them or whoever. You know, so that's that's pretty good. Thank you for sure. For I love yeah. I love what you're using the platform for. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. inspiring. Yeah, it's yeah. uh it's not self inspired mm. it's it's Appreciate very community inspired and we I were just yeah. kind of talking about yeah. that he was like i see you back playing ball and stuff again i know it's like i've been uh i feel like i've been just pushing out and for everyone else giving, you know giving, and giving 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 giving, 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 giving yeah. and kind of got away from you know what makes me me too you know right. so basketball is like my uh it gives me you know it's my sane place i can go and um, you know, and just do what I do. You know what I mean? And it still does that for me, you know? Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. So Yeah. It's, it's just like music for you. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I I can, that's like literally he's saying me, but mm-hmm. in his version mm-hmm. of it, I'm mm-hmm. like, God, all I did was giving, 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 yeah, right? yeah, community it, events, it, and, yeah, and, and it, it gets charities, and, and mm-hmm. then you're like, what about me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, but you, you can't pour from an empty cup, and that's what ultimately mm-hmm. it comes down to. So even that idea of self worth, it yeah, comes back to it about. where it's like, if I want to keep doing this for the community, and I do, I have to give it to me first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's priority because mm-hmm. the more you give to yourself, the more you will have to give. Yeah. So, so the question for both of you now is when you were giving so much, so much, right? Yeah. And Fox, mm-hmm. you, you, <laughs> so much, so much. So much, so much, <laughs> right? So much. Fox, you can go first and then you, A2O. Mm-hmm. Were you full? 
No, <laughs> were you full at the no, time that totally, you were giving so much? I was totally unaware that I was a people pleaser. Mm. I was just a people pleaser, mm. and I wanted everyone to like me. Mm. I'm very aware of that. Mm. Um, and not that there's anything necessarily even wrong with that, but I realized after a while, after like 10 years doing music, not everybody's going to like you. That's mm. exhausting to try and get everyone to like you. There is a very specific group of people. They are your tribe. Mm -hmm. And they will rock with you yeah. through no matter what. Th yeah. through yep. everything. Look at how long we have been connected. Yeah. 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 Right? Mm. So it's it's really just about recognizing like you're not aligned with everyone. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you don't need to do everything for everyone all the time. Do what's right for who's aligned with you, who's aligned with your highest self, mm -hmm. and all that stuff has a way yeah. of working itself out. Mm. That's, a fact. But, That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So how about you? So were you full getting out <laughs> all of this? Um, well, I I give because I it's in my heart. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's uh, something I, I want to do. It's something that's been embedded in me mm -hmm. from a child. Like my mom used to do a lot of this stuff. And um, so I, I just it felt normal to me, you mm -hmm. know, to give. But um, uh, it's just it, it can get overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Doing, you know, I, I dibble and dab in the hip hop scene, helping mm -hmm. out artists and stuff like that. And then doing community events. And then I also train the kids yeah. and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's like. My or just w specifically at one event at one. where the basketball, Balling for Peace, you're playing, you're the representative, you're the ambassador. I'm like, where, where is H2O? Where is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it, 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 gets, it, gets, uh, it gets overwhelming at times, you know what I mean? And it's like um, you want to do certain things, you want everything to be perfect, and um, you, know, you just want everybody to ride along with you mm -hmm. through you know, the bumps and even sometimes the smooth trails too. But um, yeah. uh, it, it, my, my plate... I guess it will be full every day. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You just every single day, like yeah. even today, mm -hmm. like yeah. just a lot that goes on. But mm -hmm. if you don't do it, then you know if I stop doing whatever I'm doing, mm -hmm. you won't be you. That won't be me. And yeah. then and no one remember, no one to care after exactly. a couple months. Oh, what happened to all of these? Oh, I guess no, whatever. Yeah, and that's right? it. Yeah, yeah whatever. whatever. Yeah, like yeah. and then that'll be that. You yeah. know, um, even H2O Music, which I haven't heard an event from them, and mm, yeah, then it'll just go away, and then mm. something new will happen, and then that's the way exactly. the world turns now. Mm. So, I don't do it for that. I do it because I really enjoy doing it. First yeah. and foremost, I enjoy seeing artists that are like, "Yo, thank you," and I appreciate you. I had a a, a, a photographer come up to me a videographer at somebody else's event he like bro you gave me my start and i didn't even know wow. the guy like he's yeah. like yo since i came to your event i've been working with this one and that one and people come and make connections and whether i get the pictures or not like exactly. you know they were there like you know but um yeah so that makes me feel good you know yeah. not knowing or even you hearing about the event and stuff is like that's you know you're doing something good you know yeah <clears throat> i think i think you mentioned the most fantastic thing which is when the connections are made, oh, you yeah. don't even know. Oh, yeah. yeah, and those <clears throat> blessings are just multiplying exponentially in your life. That ripple, oh. yeah, that's the dopest thing. Yo, it's yeah. dope. Like yeah. I'm like, oh word, that's yeah. what's up. Like yeah. you know, the way I'm, at, it, these things still amaze me. Like you know, what I mean, you, I'll be, I'm been the same person since year one, and we're going into year five with Balling for Peace, and it, I've been the same exact person. Mm. I, I mean, you guys can, mm. yeah, I've never changed. Yeah. You know, I mm. don't care about wearing mm. crazy jewelry or anything yeah. like that it's like that never meant anything to mm. me mm -hmm. so um i i know people say you know people you know you don't people change you know money changes people or, mm. or situations changes people but it, it really doesn't mm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. so I, I always always wondered that too because when when shantae put us on to a couple of events right foxy what was so funny was like you would see like the who's who yeah. you would see you know the jewelry the, mm -hmm. the the whole entourage right you know the females were in their in their bag and in their stuff but that doesn't necessarily it's a ball of a piece of that yeah. right yeah. Yeah. and that's not necessarily how h2o looks yeah. right? right so it's so amazing balling yeah the, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Balling, they yeah. took the ball <laughs> apart they took it literal <laughs> literally like, oh, <laughs> So yeah. we need to come out looking like we ball, yeah. but we need to be in peace. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I think I think a lot of people, you know, they um, some people don't get it. Like what's mm. going on yeah. to them is just an event, an event. to come out, it's to a photo op, and show up, yeah, it's a photo op. That's, that's the very networking. It's event. just to show out, I'm about to and network. it's not really you're not really, and and those are the people <laughs> that really act 
funny yeah. when you're trying to conduct business and yeah. you know work and, and 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 talk to people and meet people and and they're the ones acting like celebrities but really not celebrities that's a fact and you those know are the people what i'm saying that, and those are the people that you don't really want to gravitate to your events so you know what i like at bowling for peace this this past year like um uh, we had so much different things happen. Like I honored one of my long time coaches and one of my long time yeah. mentors, Charles Coleman. He came. He, I, I've been playing in his tournament since I was seven years old when wow. I was a little kid, and um, he's been doing this uh, uh, this work and helping people get into schools. And you know, and uh, he has a base program. It's called Base, and um, it was so dope for me to honor him. And it was a <clears throat> a real uh, proclamation by the uh, we had one of the city councilmen. Uh, Francisco Moya. He yeah. actually came and read the proclamation yes. and everything for him. And we had the New York Knicks come out mm -hmm. this year mm -hmm. and, and um, free clinic for the that kids. Really over cool. Over a hundred kids. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I had three different uh, sports organizations come out and flood the, the, uh, the place with kids. Mm -hmm. You know, and that that's one of the dopest parts because those kids will grow up and see this stuff mm -hmm. and be like, this would be the norm. This is the norm, right? Yeah. This is right. stuff to give back to the community yeah. and seeing all it. And they'll remember remember it like mm. you know i work with a lot some of these kids too and they like yo when you're doing that event again like you know mm. and they get to see people like they that they see on instagram like filet or fat exactly. boy and yeah. This, yeah. people that they would never see like you know what i mean mm. and they they they'll, they look up to those people like mm. you know the celebrity is different now you mm -hmm. know it's not yeah. the i know jay-z and the Nas's and everything like those I, th I, I guess those are like superstars <laughs> or whatever icons. but like icons yeah. or like beyonce but like in this day and age, it's like, you know, Shiggy. We had Shiggy yeah, there yeah, and exactly. stuff. Like, those are kind of like <coughs> celebrities to these kids nowadays. So, mm -hmm. like, um, to have those people and mix them all up with everybody, it's, uh, it's been really dope, you know. And, and no one, I don't, for the most part, I don't really feel like people come on some Hollywood tip to Balling for Peace. Because yeah. that's not the whole, that's not the message at yeah. all. So, yeah. um, if you're going to act like that, you know, you can yeah. stay home, you know. Yeah. So, um, but I, I really feel the growth with the, I can see it, you know, and it's, uh, it's, it's a continual pressure to get bigger and bigger. Yeah, like we yeah. added the, the dunk contest yeah, this year. We yeah, did so many yeah. different things, the youth game, yeah. the, everything, you know, the Knicks It's like, yo, what's next, you yeah, know? And that's yeah. everybody, what's next now? <laughs> like, you know, so. Yeah. I think um, my favorite part when you said collaborating was, um, you probably don't even know this, but. Um, when you had, I think it was Melissa B. Oh, Melissa and B. She did and, and, the and, yeah. um, national anthem with one of the young girls, mm -hmm, and I mm -hmm. sat with her before the game, and she was talking to her mom. I'm so nervous. I don't want to do it. Like I'm so scared. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, you know, like let me hear you sing. And then she s sings, and I'm like, okay, well, you can clearly sing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, <laughs> it's not about you know being nervous because you can't perform well. Mm -hmm. um, and then her mom gives a little pep talk. She goes out there with Melissa B. They do it together, and yeah. I'm like, that is. To capture that moment and to hear the conversation prior to them mm -hmm. walking on the court together, like she can say, I never, you know, like I had that opportunity to do it with somebody that yeah. she saw as a celebrity. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah. that that happened at, at, at a meeting, like at an interview. So I was interviewing with her mom, Candace, mm -hmm. and um, on another out uh, radio station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, no shade. So, yeah, no, no shade. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so I was interviewing with her and. Um, her daughter was there and I heard her singing. I was like, yo, she could sing. She's like, oh yeah, she could sing a little bit. I'm like, no, she can really sing. Yeah. Like, you know, let's get her to do the national anthem for yeah. for Ball and for Peace. So she was supposed to do it for the youth portion. Mm -hmm. But something happened, I don't know. But so, and Melissa B was supposed to do it for the later portion. And um, so it didn't happen. So I was like, yeah. on the fly, I was like, yo, y'all do it together. Yeah. Like and it just it looked and really the collaborate it was yeah. like they well in sync kind of it was like in sync it was like she was teaching her mm -hmm. to sing and she was following her instead of like sing this part I was singing it was just mm -hmm. like the flow was like wow this is like so, so amazing before so what the you're show. saying is you want to get. K Fox to do the national anthem. Was that was yes. that, uh, that featuring <laughs> featuring? Was this, a, was this yeah. an inadvertent <laughs> scheduling? Yeah, featuring. I can do. God does it? Bless He's like, an interview. I can do the. It. Yeah, I can also do the lyrical dance behind Fox. Oh. K Fox. Fox let's, I have is that like a praise dance? What is that? Let, yeah. Let's yes, make it, it happen. Is. Whatever it is, let's make it happen. <laughs> it so Fox, are you st how was how was your music? Well, first of all, I know you guys are. Uh, um, been talking to Fox, but how's how's you, you have anything out right now? No, I just went back in the studio this week. I was at Warner Music in Nashville, mm -hmm. down on Music Row, 
putting some stuff down. Mm. I've been writing. Okay. So this is my first time recording since I moved to Nashville. Mm -hmm. And I was sharing that I had my first writer's round December mm. 1st, which is Nashville's basically like their scene of live music is presenting songs. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right. So lots of stuff in the mix. Are we are we expecting <clears throat> any different hair colors? Um, not no. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Not, no. Okay. Not, not, no. Not never. Because the purple not was no. fabulous. The yeah. purple was fabulous. I like the pink. You like the pink? Yeah. I like the pink. The purple hair was the purple. So fabulous. The purple was for the Grammys. It was, for the Grammys. It was to match the, and the it, gown. And it's leaving. It's not coming back. I don't think so. No, like, like no. unless you paying for it. <laughs> oh, so, uh, HSPLB budget. Uh, 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 I'm like you in that magenta. maintenance yeah. was. Yeah. Tough. Yeah. I'm glad my hair was short for all of this because okay. it was like magenta. Golly, <laughs> it was a lot. It was fire engine red. It was hot pink. It was purple. Yeah, and now we're here. I came back to earth for a little bit. Welcome. Dopeness. Yeah. So now <laughs> the um. The, the idea of, you know, being community and, and giving so much to people. Is there anybody that, you know, who, because we were talking <clears> about this last show. Is there anybody from the, the journeys you've met and the things you've put together for them that <laughs> came back and specifically thanked you with something personal? Oh, specifically yeah. thanked you wow. with something very, very personal was like H2O yeah. or Foxy. I'm giving you this because you gave me that and I want you to hold this because of that. your impact. I Do just had that experience. Really? I, yeah, I was just home in Rhode Island. My mom's been in the hospital since January. Mm. Uh, she mm. about to go into long-term care indefinitely. Mm. Mm. So um, I connected with a poet here by the name of Keisha. She goes by Coco. Mm -hmm. And she had been telling me she was praying for my mom. She's been saying this for years, and she's a delightful human being. We've met mm -hmm. once in person. And uh, so she's bought merch for me. She's, so she's like, I have, I have something for your mom. I, if I can get her mailing address, but my mom hasn't been home. So finally my mom came home for a little bit, and I gave her the address, and I came home. And there's this package on the counter from Coco, mm. and it is her book. Does it say Coco on the on the package? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <Does it> say <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's check. Because then you would have known. You'd have been like, oh, no. Coco. <laughs> this is Coco. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, she has this beautiful card written out to my mother, and she included my mother in her book, and it's oh. a prayer for my mother basically, and oh, she wow. includes my name in it. She wow. like it was like and my sister who's been my mother both my parents caretakers for the last year was like we just sat here and cried like it was That's and crazy. so like literally my name is in the book she's like I just want to acknowledge your daughter and da 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 mm. she has literally never met my mother she's met me once I am in her book and she has an entire poem I think it's called Angel Hoxie or something and it's dedicated to my and mother. what was the what was the um, circumstance that you guys met. She's she's a spoken word artist. Oh, so poet. she's like a creative. A show, like an open mic. So no, mm -hmm. we have a mutual friend, mm -hmm. and I did their event in mm -hmm. the Bronx, I think at Mott Haven or mm -hmm. whatever. <coughs> and she saw my merch on his page or something. And was like, who's that? I want to connect with her. So he connected us. Mm -hmm. We knew each other virtually for a long time, <laughs> and then we finally met in person. She bought a hat. And then she was like, oh, whatever else. She gave me a bracelet. She's wow, like super man. generous. And then I came home this last month. Like literally, I, it's crazy with my family right now. Like I don't know what's happening. but Positive mm, energy was sending yeah, positive, positive energy. Thank you. Too. You so, know, it's just acceptance at this point. Yeah. But it's cool. I just want <clears throat> peace and comfort for my parents. Um, wow, but to come dope. home to that and have that personal like that was Shout crazy. Shout Keisha Coco. Yeah. H2O, do you have something as good as that? Oh, if man, not, yeah. Better? If, <laughs> if, if not, yeah, what, what, what a story. <laughs> so like I'm to, not going to share no, mine. No, no pressure. No, you know what it is? Like, I can't really um, think of something off the top of my head from um, someone mm. actually doing something from what I've done for mm -hmm. them, but I had some people do some pretty dope stuff. Like um, last year, uh, you know, Lauren, mm -hmm. she had drew a, a nice painting, a painting on me painting was dope. For, for Ball and for Peace. I mm -hmm. had a, another photographer give me um, like some pictures that like a collage that he put mm -hmm. of me put in the frame and stuff. But mm -hmm. I, I had um, a kid, one of like, he's a man, but mm -hmm. he was a, you know, he was going to college and he needed, 
he needed to uh, find a school. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he was playing with me in the summer circuit. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, one day, you know, he, he went to school. I had him I had him go to my old school in California and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe a year or two after he graduated, I haven't seen him in a while. Mm -hmm. So I was in a restaurant or somewhere I was at. And um, he, he was like, Mom, he was with his mother. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, Mom, that's, that's H2O. That's the dude who got me through school. Oh, and like, wow. yo, I'm like... Oh, what's up, yo? And uh, his name's Mo, um, mm -hmm. Maurice, mm -hmm. and um, got him through school and everything. He went, wound up graduating, got his masters and mm -hmm. everything. And he he's like, yo, he, I owe him all, like, everything. Oh, like, mom, so, so that was like, mm -hmm. for me, it's like, yo, that's me connecting, you know, someone, his his passion of playing ball. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, I didn't know, you know, he would, how he would excel, like, mm -hmm. you know, ball wise but he was able to play division one i got him the junior college and he played division one mm -hmm. and um graduated with his masters too yeah. so like that was like yo that's that's real that's like you heavy. know what i'm saying so, yeah like, and um that wasn't with yeah. ball for that's Pete. Equal. that was a yeah i think that's yeah i don't have anything like that i yeah. just you know help someone get their master <laughs> yeah. like, but that meant a lot to yeah. me little things you know? but that's that's kind of <laughs> like those are the inadvertent Balling for peace, you know, activities. Mm -hmm, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like this balling for peace before balling for peace. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's dope, man. Yeah, that was so dope. is there anybody that you in particular would like to like give something to that you haven't got to, like a mentor or somebody? Um, I try my best to to keep in touch with a lot of my mentors. Uh, but, um, well, you said you did one with your coach, the prop yeah, coach. Yeah, yeah, pretty official. My, my, and then uh, my, guy, <laughs> my guy, my guy, official. My guy, pretty Tippy. Official. Um, we just I, actually, you know, the players. We kind of honored him um, this summer at Rucker Park mm -hmm. um, as like a, a lifetime achievement award, like mm -hmm. the Greg mm -hmm. Marius uh, gotcha. award. Mm -hmm. You know, because Greg used to run the, the uh, Rucker mm -hmm. and everything, and he passed away. Yeah. And um, this was Greg. the first person yeah. that they gave the award to was Thomas McTurnan, mm -hmm. aka Tippy. He helped me get to college and, mm -hmm. and, and go to to play Division One ball, and mm -hmm. I was training with him every single day. Mm -hmm. And um, I was actually training with him mm -hmm. recently too. You know, right. um, so but um. I would want to award him, but that happened over the summer. Yeah. When I tried to award him two years ago with Balling for Peace, he stopped picking up my phone calls and yeah. everything. Yeah, literally. Like, this happened. I'm asking him for information. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, what happened? What, what's going on? So then, like, three months after Balling for Peace, he mm -hmm. sends me, like, a long email, like, he doesn't do this for the fame or anything like he just mm. wants to be you know wants to be and uh key. you know low-key he loves me and all mm. this other stuff <laughs> but that you know he did he didn't want it so this summer when they did it they surprised him um like he was crying i never seen a guy cry mm. yeah, and nothing in my life so mm. like that was really big but i wanted to i wanted to do something for him um but i was happy that i was able to collab with all his other players and all the people that he mm. helped get into college and mm. stuff and um, I got a picture of it on my, my Instagram oh, stuff. That's but that's somebody that I wanted yeah. to do something to mm -hmm. for. And, you know, a lot of other people, like my uncle, too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's a lot of people that we, mm -hmm. we, 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 uh, I'm going to get to. Yeah. Foxy, you, anybody you wanted to kind of like, you know, As show? you were saying it, I was thinking about it. I, I think probably for me, the person that I would like to honor, she just reached out to me recently on my, my book page, um, is Maria Davis. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mad. Like, yeah, Wednesdays Mad Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. When you think about how much work she has been putting in and for how long and how consistent, <laughs> and I, I, she's just, she's a powerhouse. Maria, she is like. I'm just, embarrassed that Maria called us for the breast, for the, for the, I think for the breast cancer, for the cancer walk. Yeah. I didn't pick up. What? Oh. Yeah. You always Maybe. pick up when Maria calls. Yeah. Because you never know where you're going to have to be when she calls you. You're yeah. like, all right, Maria, I'll be there in seven minutes. No problem. I apologize, <laughs> like, Maria. But, yeah, she is a She's a incredible. Rock. She's incredible. And yeah. she's she really is kind of an iconic part of hip-hop history. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Like, without mm -hmm. a doubt. And I feel like she has not been acknowledged in the way that she really deserves to be mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. amount of work mm -hmm. and for the caliber of artists that have come out of mm -hmm. what she's created on her stage. Mm -hmm. You know, and through her church, through her community. I mean, I've done AIDS walk with her a whole bunch of times. And now, unfortunately, not being here, I haven't been doing it. But, you know, her whole thing was like, you don't have to be infected to be affected. Mm. And that That's really true. spoke to me. I was like, wow. That's true. Yeah. And yeah. it's crazy because I was, I was a campus minister uh, when I was at Iona College. 
my short term or my long term service project was at Incarnation Center mm -hmm. in uh, Washington Heights, mm -hmm. which is for kids um, with HIV and AIDS whose parents are either too ill to take care of them or mm. have passed on mm -hmm. from the disease. So I ended up I, I ended up not finishing out my year as a campus minister. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, however long, more, faster, whatever, mm -hmm. forward. <laughs> Maria Davis calls me and is like, hey, um, I have an event tonight for some kids and I really, I need some performers for tonight. And wouldn't you know, it's at Incarnation Center and I got to go complete something that I started as a college student and then come back with Maria and wow. give back to this community. Mm. And it's like, she's she does so much that people don't even know about. She's doing it all day long. She's yeah. not just she's on, she's busy. not at Shrine That's once big. a month. She is out in the community every single day, like very, running very and busy. gunning. And what a lot of people didn't know that Maria, do you know Maria Davis, H2O? Mm, That's yeah, I'm probably I'm someone you should era. align with. Maria Davis is like, like. She's transcended yeah, eras she's though. She's like, like Nile Rodgers in that 90s way. Early 90s hip hop, <laughs> one of those. She was like you mm. in terms of H2O5 music, yeah. right? In the early 90s. Yeah. Wow. That's exactly what she is. And she's still she going. Wow. Just still and she's going. still just, going. Just to know, just to find out who she is and you want to hear who she is, go get Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt. Uh -huh. She's on that album. The 22, two, yeah. 22, two. Yes. There That's her. Um, she's she, actually like not hosting it, but she's part of that skit. Okay. Yeah. It's basically so. her at her showcase. And it's pretty accurate. Yeah. That's pretty much Maria. Yeah. But and and not that. to like you know blow her story up. What really became very um, powerful with her was as she was she was a model. Mm -hmm. She was um, she was an actor. She was actress into all of that stuff. Then she was hosting these parties. She gave a lot of people their break. Joy, you can get up in here. It's Joy Dinero, right? Yeah, my name yeah. is Joy. Yeah, so he, um, she gave like Jay Z their break. She's like you know she had this platform was like a SOBs. Yeah, yeah. That. All everybody came through. We talking about Jay Nas. Mm. Um, you talking Gee, about flex yeah, Flex Low. I'm um, you know Camp Low. Everybody, wow. everybody's in the '90s. Um, Definitely, they yeah came era. through there. You know, and <laughs> especially yeah especially that Queens, that um that um Royal Flush, the okay. Mike Geronimo, yeah, like okay. that. Ah. That was her space, right? Lost nice. Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So so Elite then the life. then she she contracted <laughs> HIV. Right, and that kind of hit the hip hop world. Mm. It's like when Magic got it. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. So the world yeah. was like the hip hop world was like whoa. Shocked, yeah. yeah, they were like whoa. This is you know, and, and it's a woman too. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, yeah. And, so and from then on, she's been on the, her safe sex. You know, um, you can get all. Should, yeah, you yeah. can get a lifetime of condoms coming to Mad Wednesdays. Like you can, you never have to spend money on condoms ever again, ever. She's you can get vaginal condoms. Yeah. You can. I don't even know how to use those. Yeah, so I'm she's sorry. still alive. She's um, still alive. She's I would still love to meet her. She's, yeah. she's amazing. We're gonna make that happen. Yeah. We, 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 on Wednesday, we got we go. She does the um. She does Mad Wednesdays once a month at Shrine. Yeah. Uh, with oh, the shrine. uh, yeah. Yeah. in Harlem, right? Yes. Okay. And, and she's she's bubbly. She's you know she's amazing. Amazing. Oh. You need to meet her because I would love to meet her. Yeah, I, yeah. Right I would now, love to meet her too. I tell you this right now, H. Once you meet her, that's it, bro. Yeah, you're you in. in her you're contacts. In. <laughs> you're in. She's hit. You you get, right? You're getting a phone Christmas, call. Thanksgiving, Yo, that's everything, bro. <laughs> that's what's up. Everything. But she, she'll, she'll be like, like hey, I have yeah, summer stage. Like, yeah, Do right you have some artists? Like, like my babies need some training. H two O. They need some a basketball training. Okay. That's how she on it. Yeah. Yo, that's what's up, man. And she does it through her church. She does it through her platform. She does. She is so consistent. And one of the most amazing things that I think, I mean, obviously she has HIV. She is more productive and more hardworking mm. than most people, people that have yeah. absolutely nothing. are afflicted nothing. with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe laziness. I don't know. But <laughs> like, that's laziness. a disease. That is. For real. People can't like, get off the couch to do anything. Yeah. For real. Yeah, she crazy. is incredible. And disease. she's going harder than ever. Yeah. yeah. Ever. That's what's up. She's, she's right. definitely hitting her, her stride, and that's dope. So we want to introduce Joy to Never Joy. What's up, babe? Yeah, how's it going? Sorry, I'm a little late, man. Traffic is. No problem. We yeah, all know it's crazy. Crazy. It's, crazy. Crazy. it's crazy. I tell, I tell people who drive or who come all the time, you better park don't. somewhere and take the train. Yeah. 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 Next time for next yeah. time, it's like, you know, train, you know, yeah. much quicker. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we want to get you close to the mic. Definitely. definitely. So are, would you consider yourself a new artist? Um, I kind of do, yeah. Okay. You know. All right. So we got some veterans here who are, you know, done... Definitely. Music with a lot of artists who's, mm -hmm. who's as artists themselves done music a lot. What what do you feel? Because I want, want to see if they can help you with this. What do you feel is your biggest challenge right now musically? Um, basically, uh, 
trying to stay different, you know. I feel like everybody's basically trying to sound the same or mm-hmm. or basically trying to just gain you know, a one one set of audience, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like there's there's more people that, that needs to be heard and mm. Like there's people you know that really could be reaching. Yeah. It's basically how you approach things. It's so everybody, you feel like everybody's trying to get the same audience. Yeah, yeah. I feel okay. like everybody's just mm. basically riding like you know one wave or, or trying to you know mm-hmm. trying to stay basically the same doing something. Yeah, yeah, doing something that's already rocking. You know, mm-hmm. Instead of trying okay. to just be different. So, hey, so how do you deal with that? I know you. I know a lot of your space mm-hmm. is the trap. You know, you get a lot uh, of that. I, I get it. I get it all. Like I like <laughs> to. Um, but I like to hear different music. Like I, 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 I definitely, love. Definitely, definitely. I yeah, love I trap. Love I, don't get me wrong. I love trap. You heard? Yeah. It's just, you know, but you know what I'm saying it's just like it's basically how you approach it. You know, everybody's different. Yeah, I, I mean, people come with the trap. People come with the the boom bap. They mm-hmm. come with mm-hmm. all the different styles. But I, I just like good music. Period. Yeah, so like yeah. I like. I just, I just, I just, I just, yeah. So you can relate to you know. Basically, mm. you know, music is music. I, I, you know, I respect everything. Do you freestyle? Yeah, I, I, I freestyle. Okay, I freestyle okay. What What would you say is your sound of music? What uh, would you say your sound of, without me hearing hearing your music or anything? Um, it's just real. You no, know, it's real. just pain. Okay, like stuff I've been through in life, struggles, like mm-hmm. real, real life stuff. You know, that's dope. That's pain, dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it's pain. So like my, my, my mic sounds different. Is something? Little echo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Slims is. He was holding back, right? In the conversation, out the conversation. Where where you from? I'm from Washington Heights. Okay, okay. I'm from 184 okay. Audubon. Okay, okay. You know, OEF. Okay. okay. So with the Spanish band B. Yeah, yeah. You know, Jimmy Choo Rizzo. Oh my God! I just Spanish band. It feels so good to be back in New York right now. I'm like, oh my God, that was OG New York. That's New York. Foxy, what's up with you? What would you What would you say is a is a good you know piece of advice for trying to establish your own lane um i would say to take your focus off of trying to be different Mm -hmm. and just really put your attention on just being yourself Mm -hmm. and allowing yourself to naturally fall into whatever that is Mm -hmm. you know and and to not subscribe to the belief that you have to choose Mm Um, that was like a big misconception that I had for so long was that I could only do one thing, right? Yeah. And so it just kept me away from doing so many things that I loved because I was like, ah, oh, that's crazy confusing. It's crazy because my, my friends tell me all the time, like, you got to stop limiting yourself, you mm-hmm. know, and just mm-hmm. be more open-minded. Yeah. And it's like, you got to do it sometimes, you know? I get that too with, with everything that I do because yeah. they're like, oh, what, what do you want to be? Are, are you still playing? Are you a basketball <laughs> coach? Are you a trainer? Or what do you, the community, <laughs> man? Like, now yeah. you're listening to hip hop. Like, it's like, I put your mind on the thing, Yeah, these are things that I want to do. And these are things that make me happy to help others in the hip hop community, to, to help in, uh, in the regular community and okay. actually help with the kids. and. And See, I still want to play ball. Like, yeah. Work yeah. Together, and it all, yeah, they that's do. the beauty of yeah. it. And that's what my, my experience of my children's book and everything is like, holy crap. Mm-hmm. Like, all of this can work together. That's a this fact. is not mm-hmm. separate. Yeah. And yeah. if you are patient with the process and trust yourself, it will reveal to you yeah. how it works yeah. together. Yeah. And that's your whole, I mean, that's balling for peace. Yeah. So many different components. Those things wouldn't have come together if you didn't yeah. have all those different things interests. Yeah. Like the, the, yeah. the no, go ahead, go. Ahead. Yeah, the platform of the music came from like having performances that like halftime of the events and stuff, and it's like these people are really gravitating to some of these artists mm-hmm, and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, have y'all have Greg G up here, my boy Greg G, who sung the national oh. anthem. I and think then he, he was had supposed to be, but yeah, then yeah. Um, scheduling conflicts. So I used to work with him at the Harlem Children's Zone, and he. Uh, He's really, he's from San Antonio, Texas. He plays the keyboard. Yeah. So I used to go to work. I'm like, yo, this dude is fire. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, um, when when I had Bowling for Peace for the first year, I said, yo, you're going to sing the national anthem. Mm-hmm. At, you starting up my whole event. He started my first wow. ever event, Bowling wow. for Peace. Mm-hmm. He got a standing ovation. So mm-hmm. like, I'm looking at, I had Graf at the other, um, you know, and this is when people, you know, they still remember Graf, but then they was like, okay, this is, I'm like, yo, I'm going to bring you out for Bowling for Peace mm-hmm. and get that resurgence going again. Mm-hmm. And now, all of the things that I was doing was working. So I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, I'm going to start putting the concerts together <laughs> now. And I started putting concerts and now mm-hmm. the ciphers and mm-hmm. stuff. And it's like, okay, now, you know, now I'm her- helping out artists now. Mm-hmm. Like, you yeah. know, so. Um, it's not like something you chose. Yeah, I chose. It's like, uh, okay, now okay. I can you help you I chose you. Out. Yeah, facts. Just happened. So, so what's, what's and you know, this is the craziest question, but, you know, we rarely ask this. <laughs> what's, your, what's your management like? Do you manage yourself? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you, my management do you, basically, um. All right, he's part of my management. Mm-hmm. Okay. So his name is Fleezy. Okay, but Fleezy, what up? Fleezy, what up? What up? What up? Uh, mm-hmm. That's another. Uh, my stepfather, mm-hmm. Ayo, mm-hmm. he's from my block. You know, he's a person been in my life 
Mm-hmm. His, I consider my father. You know? mm-hmm. Okay, that's what's mm-hmm. right. He basically he believes in me. And he he support me. His mm-hmm. brother, mm-hmm. you know, he's he's part of my management. So it's basically us four. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's basically so. So you got a team, and that's yeah. that's great. That's so we got we got, we got yeah. some other. We got my man Sean. Mm-hmm. He's been helping us for like the past two years. You know, he's been getting us gigs. You mm-hmm. know, like performances, or showcases, okay. and and helping us. You know, basically that's get dope. out there. That's dope. Do you do you have a uh, management, Foxy? I have a, I have an MBA and a Master's of Management. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's myself. <laughs> Wait, I mean actually, it's me, myself, I've and I. In I. Uh, <laughs> Let's get them. I, I want to have them at bars. I'm uh, doing an event uh, November 16th November at 16th. Hall of Fame uh, Multi Studio. You come out. We, oh, yeah, we do ciphers, yeah. performances, everything. Yeah, Just come man. through. It's gonna be Love really to go dope. Definitely, you know what I mean? Do that. So we'll get Joy that. De Niro. That. Yeah, yeah. Man, definitely. I like the yeah, name too. I, when I when I saw the name, I was like, <laughs> name is hot, Joy. Joy De Niro. Yeah, man. It, it kind of has this kind of like the happy but yeah. real. You know what I mean? Yeah. The happy, real joy. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a dope name. Are you sure you have management? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I mean, you know what it is? It's like I got some people who, who want to work one day and they don't want to work. And sometimes they work and sometimes you they don't work. So you get those a It's like, you know, it's when they there, they there. Mm-hmm. But, you know, um, I'm not going to lie to people I had together for my last uh, basketball event. Mm-hmm. Um, they did an amazing job with helping me. Um, they actually surprised me for my birthday. Um, had a birthday cake at the end. Wow. Somebody was right. somebody was tearing yeah. up. Somebody was crying. Yeah. That's but somebody up. got married on the platform wow. too. Wow. My boy, yeah. well, he he proposed. My boy White I- Iverson what? from California flew out here to play in the game. It's we marriage had, for peace, ball of the peace. He, <laughs> he, he, he proposed Buddha. to his girl. <laughs> And everything um, at Bowling for Man, Peace. That's that's I had somebody take a private jet to fly and play in the game. Mm. So it was, and then also Tristan T. Jazz, he's mm. one of the hottest uh, dudes on the internet. Mm. Um, he came out from Wisconsin. Okay. It was players who flew, you know, the dude who mm. did the trick and made the guy. Mm. Yeah, and then um, it was a lot of different people mm. who came out, and I was very excited about that. And um, mm. it's real dope. It was mm. real dope, man. Oh, that's but, amazing. Yeah, man. so but my management, I don't have management. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 and, and the reason helpers. why we, we, we ask that is because, like, sometimes, you know, there there's some of us that are out here doing so much by themselves. Yeah, yeah. definitely, you know definitely. I mean? definitely. And they're piecing that's people together true. to do things. Mm-hmm. But there, there's some other people, like, who have a team with them and they're making moves and we like to celebrate that yeah, too. Yeah, so definitely, it's definitely. always dope, both sides. Well, mm-hmm. well. So so what what you got out now? Well right now I just got I got um I got a project I released in I wanna say like in January. Mm-hmm. It's called Trapmatized. Trapmatized? Trapmatized. Okay. Yeah. Trap-matized. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's what's the idea about that? <laughs> it's basically, you know, it, I'm traumatized with trap, you know. <laughs> streets, basically, you know. I traumatized, like, by traumatized the trap. getting that tattoo. Trap, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready for a K Fox trap. Yeah. <laughs> a K Fox track. Trap Fox. Ooh. Facts trap. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fox trap. Fox trap. Y'all didn't hear my hip hop? Oh, you didn't. I've heard. I've heard. Um, splashes of your hip hop in your album. I had my first feature as a hip hop artist. Really? Wow. Yeah. Were well, you a rhyming? Yeah. Actually rhyming? Yes, sir. I want to hear this stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to hear that. It's on. Yeah. It's out. It's, it's on it's Spotify, out there. iTunes. Okay, I'm ask. I'm ask Bravo to pull it up. We I'm can play it because you know what's interesting too. Like, um, when when they were telling you like you know be yourself, go mm-hmm. with it, don't stop any feeling okay. you have to go anywhere, okay. like. I've heard some, you know, rappers, you know, in the hood, you know, it's hip hop. You know, there's a certain uh, yeah. chismo with it. Uh, but now I'm hearing like some of the hoodest, hardest rappers singing. Like, singing. Oh, of course. Yeah, singing, like, singing. Like, yeah. oh, like, and you're like. I like that tree. Yeah, it's dope, dope, though. I like yeah, that. I like yeah. that tree. You know, diversity. Dope, you know, it's different, you know. I like that. Have you played yeah. with that? Have you played with some yeah, singing? Yeah, I like. I, I'll See, I've done it. You know what I'm saying? I can't I've done it. I've done it. Okay. And that's interesting to hear Fox say, I've done some bars, too. That's kind of like an ongoing joke. I rap, too. Yeah. Because I did the So Gone Challenge. And um, I got bars. Monica? I, yeah, I dropped bars on it and people were like, Oh, you could do what? that? <laughs> and then I added some hip hop into, I integrated it into my existing music. I mm. had people like on interviews, like, She's like, I have a tear in my eye. Like, mm. I don't understand what just happened. Mm. But yeah, I mean, it just comes wow. out however wow. it comes out. And that's I've got true. huge hip hop inspiration. Like, that's. that's so H2O yeah, was like, he's like, come to the night. Come to the night. Buzz, November 16th. <laughs> <laughs> come out. 
<laughs> hey, slow <laughs> music. Yeah, that's what's so definitely I'm definitely, definitely, definitely be there. Yeah, nah, I want every. It, I, see, I like to mix everybody. Bring it to that. I promise you, man. Mm-hmm. Like I have poets coming out and everything. So you just come out. You know, we have a uh, conventional ciphers. We have three ciphers. We have a female cipher, mm-hmm. um, up and coming cipher. That's what we call it. And then we have the like the main cipher, like graph, and like we have Brooklyn hands and the pat, like different people like that, mm-hmm. Math Hoffa, yes. things of that mm-hmm. nature. So um, that's like the main event. And then in between those, we have uh, performances. Mm-hmm. So um, it's a really dope event. We got food, drinks, mm-hmm. we Do you got have merch. Vendors um, for this. Well, this one, I'm, I actually, I am actually looking for some vendors. Okay. Um, for for this, um, so you know, people who sell hats and things of that mm-hmm. nature. But I'm gonna be selling um the H2O, uh music T-shirts this time. Okay. Around. So um. Are you familiar with them? <laughs> right. I, that's um Jesse Cotto and Ted Smooth. Okay. DJ Ted Smooth. Yeah, Ted Smooth. Him and him yeah. and Grab did a uh, joint together. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, he yeah. had did a um. Was it 88 Crack Era? Test Smooth uh, hosted. He did that. The 10 Crack yeah. Commandments that's, remix that's, or something? He did all like all, like 88. Oh, yeah. It was the early 90s beats and Graf rapped over all of them joints. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I gotta yeah. hear that. Yeah, but it's pretty hard. Um, mm-hmm. They had collab with that. But yeah, I would, I would love to. I am vibrating uh, higher on mm-hmm. Instagram. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I will connect you because mm-hmm. I... Okay, cool, I cool, cool. If I you could pull up Foxy's music, we're gonna I just sent it to you. Oh, yeah, we're gonna surprise. <laughs> we're gonna surprise H2O. I only got a right. verse on it. I got. I actually have an entire arsenal of hip hop music. Mm-hmm. Oh, you I know, wish I could you, bring bring up the Sogon challenge. That that would be. That was. Do that you was have a, it on Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Because you know it's probably like. T- you know, Foxy is like a thousand. Well, she probably saved it okay. because that's like. Her joint. No, my you filing says it? on people got a million followers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fox got one million posts. Posts. <laughs> one M posts. I am. Well, I, I am an avid content creator. Yeah. So I she love. Is. Creating so you're content. not a deleter. You don't delete. No. Okay. Oh, oh, that relationship's over. Let me delete all these. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. you, it, this existed. Yeah. This happens. This. This, this is real life. <laughs> this. This got me here, and I'm thankful for all of it. I'm not hiding anything. I delete flyers. I don't yeah. like the cute Why? Flag. Cool. I mean, I don't because when I'm posting, I post a whole bunch of them. Like, you yeah, know, for so the same way. I, I, I mean, I may leave one for the event purpose. Like, I did that, but I don't keep. Oh, them. okay. Oh, yeah, all yeah. of the flyers for specific people. Yeah, because okay. I have a lot of that individual flyers. I thought you meant you just took down the flyers for all of the. I'm like, no, oh, nah, no, nah, they nah, need nah. to know. I, that they know. They got to know what I've <laughs> yeah. done. Yeah, so they I leave at least one for each event. But I like when I'm posting, like, and I'm in promo mode. I have to, but I have to separate it. So I have separate pages too. So like I have the yeah. ball and yeah, for I don't peace know how you do it. Yeah. 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 Music, yeah. 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 ball for peace. Yeah. I'm like, keep it up with But you. I have yeah. some people running the different oh, the pages. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So so my personal sense. page I run personally. Okay. But everything <laughs> else is like whatever. So Trap, Trap Matized, what was the single? My single, I don't really have a single for it. I dropped a song before it. I considered that a single, but it was it was a song that really didn't make the tape. Okay. So I just it's a song I released before time. Video and all that? Yeah, you the videos on YouTube. It's called The Block Is Hot. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I got mm-hmm. I got the the, the song the um the mixtape is out on SoundCloud right now. Traumatized, mm-hmm. Joy De Niro. You know, Let's go. So I want to talk about ciphers real quick, right? Ciphers, yeah. mm-hmm. And you know how they've said the um, the marriage between R and B and hip hop, right? Right now, it's hard to tell which one is hip hop, which one is R and B. Everybody's <laughs> rhyming over beats. Yeah, some are, yeah. some are singing. singing. So I wondered why R and B people. Or singers, do you guys battle in ciphers? With R and B singers? Yeah, do singers do singers mm. kind of like go into that? I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I never seen that. You know, I never seen it happen. But yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel I, like, I've never I feel seen. Like Ken, I think that'd be dope. That'd yeah, be dope, I've never you know seen singers thinking about it, like, actually yeah, thinking about it now. You know what I'm saying? That would be dope. That'd be dope yeah. to actually see. So, you know, because it's always hip hop doing it, right? I never seen singers like. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's hit notes on. I'm gonna hit a high note on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Usher Usher right. falsetto. This was only yeah, falsetto. Yeah, yeah. falsetto. <laughs> only falsetto. Yeah, for you know what I'm saying. That'd be this fire. Is that would. That this would. one's that would. only fire. bass, right? You get a bass singer like this only day. Well, there was some controversy that I I was thinking about this week. Usher dropped a new EP, and so people. I mean, it is it is it does have that trap feeling. So people were saying like, yo, we want the 
just just the sing old, just yeah, sing the old uh, you know and you i was just like you know people, people yeah. that's how i felt i was like let him branch out yeah, you know he's getting older do. you know he mm-hmm. wants to compete it's but true. i said like, like let's it. get the like, vocals going yeah. unless we don't like it yeah. but you know what happens is no people, it's good though people's fan base get older like yeah. you know what i mean so now you have to appeal to some of the crowd who's actually still buying music you know so if your your fan base is you know happily married with kids and stuff you can't be like yes or no look at that extra yeah. Look at legacy artists, right? I'm talking about Naughty by Nature, Salt and Peppa. Mm-hmm. They're not putting out trap music. They are yeah. out on tour, still performing that music mm-hmm. of that which they are known for. So there's okay. that. Mm-hmm. There's that. That's a one but lane. But then, yeah. that's one. One lane. Then there are artists like Music Soul Child. Mm. He's dope, man. Yeah, I love Music Soul Child. What do you think of The Hustle? Mm. What? His, he has another album out? I sure mean, does. I, I, yeah. He actually has two albums. I, I downloaded his album. He had an album come out. I downloaded <laughs> it like Slims a couple there. of months Slims ago. <laughs> yeah. We actually were you at the there. release party. Yeah, we had at Madam X. H two O. You know yeah. music soul child. I love yeah. you, music soul child. Yeah. I, music soul child. I drove to Pittsburgh like, for my twenty first birthday to see him. Yeah, he's like his R and B, his music. Wait, wait. Wait, I was so confused. Yeah, you're gonna be confused. You're gonna be confused because. When we You're went, gonna be very confused. We went to this this um album release. I think I think Slim invited Madam us. Madam right? X. Yeah, was, at Milk River. It was at Milk River. Oh, I went to the one in the um, You know, he came out, I think with a bandana over yes, his face. Over his oh. face. Oh. And it was music soul chat. <laughs> what? And he changed his name to the hustle. And he has uh, another one too. I can't remember. H E H U S E L. Purple. Right? Mm. Yeah. So everybody was looking at Purple him. Wonder. If you were inside the industry, yeah, insider, yeah. you knew the drill. <laughs> But if you were like us, or you know, you didn't know what you were invited to, like this dude looks just like Music Soul Chat. <laughs> or you didn't know at all. He kept he kept yeah. walking around at the listening event yeah. I went to, and he's like, "I'm wearing this stuff because y'all know who I am." And I'm like, "I don't know who this dude is. Well, like, what, what is he what, what talking about? about?" And he was, <laughs> I, I was confused. <laughs> a, I'm still confused now. And then he was, like, <laughs> uh, he was right he was like "Don't call me Music Soul Child. Call me the Hustle." The Hustle, right? I'm different. It's I'm different. different guy. No. And Joy, when I tell you this dude came out. And was like pivot to pivot to pip, pivot to, and started doing what? trap music. No, no way! <laughs> no <laughs> way! No way! I was I I love you, music soul God, child. I was man. mortified. I was mortified. He took off the mask, and I was like. Oh my God! Like, see, so, like, so see, and now, a, now I want to see H2O face with the yo. So, stay, in, you know, you do other things. Do <laughs> other things. I see him no. So there's that, right? Come on, so music. There's a lot of different things. <laughs> but see, what I think with Usher though, he ways. he he goes back and forth between that. It's like cool. Usher has that type of vibe where he can kind of. Mm. But I feel like he's one way. of those yeah, yeah, yeah. those you know, legacy so, artists. Yeah, he's a yeah, he is. So he can, but he could play. He's in the He's not in. He is. He does Usher is a legacy. No, yeah, so he doesn't I love need yeah. to. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm a little confused, even with certain artists of another caliber, which I will not. I'll that not even say sad, their names. Man. But mm-hmm. like, if you why were there, it. you'd have been depressed. Oh my god! Oh no! It was. I love you, music soul. <laughs> to hear it, like, <laughs> but I don't love that. That sucks, bro. It wasn't with a bandana. It was traumatizing. And Joy, I want you to understand because what they're telling you is so real. Because when you get your fan base and you blow up and you do your thing. That sucks. At, business wise, uh, they're gonna might they might force you to, do to go get people yeah. who are yeah. buying music now, yeah. and that might be what you know Usher yeah. might it's be like, doing. Like that might be what Music Social like, did, so. and it compromises your whole oh, brand. No way. And I was like, oh my <laughs> god, not <laughs> one song I like. <laughs> oh man. And he and he was and you know how you go. You know, there's an R and B movement, right? You know when you do the R and B movement, yeah, like right, okay. the neck yeah, and the yeah. face. But then he was doing like. Oh, he was doing that. Oh, oh, oh he, he had the hair. Oh, he was like, uh, 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 okay. He was all in it, trapped out. He went from a like, slow grind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Oh, oh, oh. And I was like, you know, this is tough. And he was like, you know, don't even ask me about music, soap child. Don't even dress me. So I was doing. Wow. I was with what's hot in hip hop for that event. Mm. So. He literally said that. So nowhere in my blog, my write up about the event, do I speak his name. I was like, I don't even want don't people speak to speak this name. <laughs> but then I read everyone else's music. pieces from that night, and they were like, formerly known as Music Social. And I was like, this is exactly what he didn't want. Yeah. And I was like, as much as I don't like the music, I'm gonna honor what he wants to do as an artist. But then, will mm-hmm. people think that he's a a new artist of the? That's what the goal. That's the goal. goal. Yeah, the goal. Uh, the goal. Sure. Wait, can I show you his? Some that, a new, the new buzz. Somebody new. Yeah. 
so what so what would you win a new would you win an award yeah but what happens so bad that you have to change up your whole new artist year i understand like integrating what he said was confused still because he loves hip-hop so much and he wanted to all you know always always wanted to do it Mm. okay he couldn't do it as As music music. so (laughs) child so he well, created the Con- hustle well, what about Common? as an alter ego I love to, to get to do the rap there. there to, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That was his whole thing. That was his whole thing. I just think that... I know I just totally you know, contradicted like, myself with the hustle thing. Yeah. I was like, do what you want. But and I'm then, like... But no, do, don't but do like, that. But like, <laughs> right. But I, I felt like there was limits. some part of integrity missing from that I think, equation yeah. I think, I think, I think because he made such great music yeah. as an R&B yeah. it's so hard to accept him now as to do this rap, yeah. you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. this like, must be like, like fairly it's like, new it's like, 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 it's like Snoop you know Snoop yeah, does the, the, Snoop the, the Snoop. Oh, but, see, but see Snoop he had integrity has did you watch yeah. the documentary did you watch the documentary yes. he had integrity he was all in he was not doing it he's as a all in hype or scam or blah yeah. he was yeah. like no he's really, I honor this really, I honor really Rastafari and I'm you know saying it's number one it, it, it was number one on the charts yeah. but, but here's the difference with Snoop here's the difference <laughs> with Snoop the difference with Snoop was if, if you're a true Snoop fan you heard you Snoop with, him. with yeah. the yeah. Reggae undertones in his chronic bang bang, dying yeah. and fall. Like he had those yeah. undertones, right? Always. And it was then there. he would always be like, Church, yeah, Church, even made. when he wasn't in yeah. gospel. He and now he's made. in it. So they, yeah. the transition wasn't far he's out. He's brilliant. I'm sorry. He's so that's brilliant. different. Yeah. And, and it's it's integrity. Yeah. That is a difference. That's the difference between Snoop Dogg and The Hustle, hustle. my personal the opinion. They hustle. hustle. It was like, man, I got tired of what I'm doing or whatever. Like, I'm kind of hitting a plateau. This. That's That was my experience of it. With Snoop, he was like, I'm at a different place in my life. I'm at a different place as an artist, my career. Mm-hmm. And I am going to learn about the culture. I am going to honor it. I'm going to get to know the people. He fully you know, integrated himself into yeah, the dreads. community. Yeah, and then he Snoop created Lion. the music. That's it nice. was a little. It was funny to me when mm-hmm. I first heard it. I was like, okay. I wasn't surprised. Right. Joyce, what, what was your music? How old are you now? I'm 23. I'm about to be 24 in February. <laughs> how, how long you been on rhyming? Uh, uh, I've been rhyming since uh, middle school. Middle I, t- school I took like it serious. 12, 13? Yeah, yeah, I took it serious. More so what like were you rhyming about in middle school? Because we're talking about lunch? transitions, yeah, right? Lunch. 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 Yeah. Yeah. What was on the table? Yeah. Like, what were you rhyming? Like, on like, the table. Take us through the transition of your rhyming. Um, what were you rhyming about? Do you do you have one of your first rhymes? Do you remember one of them? Um, you actually, have I to don't. remember. I, 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 one I, I, of your first rhymes. Do you remember one of your first rhymes? I remember one time I said... That's true. Mm. Battle rap mode. Let me, let me, I, let said, me, I, said, I said. I said. I said. I said. With vocals. It was. <laughs> your first run. Damn, I really can't remember now. It's probably you was your, your first crush. One. You got me with this. Nah, it wasn't. I was never. No I never crush? rhymed on. Nah, I never no. rhymed on. Okay. I never rhymed about these girls. <laughs> no, no, never. never. <laughs> In middle school. I, mean, I, I, I did. I can't say I didn't. But so what's yeah, your first okay. like, what else is yeah. there to rap? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what was your content like? Lunch. What was your content? Yeah, yeah. lunch and yeah, recess. I, it was it was basically always like what I was doing at the moment, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I I always really freestyle, so it'd be like oh like somebody walking by with a Coca Cola bottle, and I would yeah. just start rapping. Like it was basically just oh, I was having fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was really Who's one of your inspirations in hip hop? Um, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. Is Which era? Well, Carter Five ever? Uh, Carter Two, Hot Boys. Boy. Boy. Oh, Hot Boys. He's Carter Two. Carter Two. Carter Three. Carter Three. Yeah, he's Carter, Carter, Carter Two. You know what I'm saying? Carter yeah, definitely. No dedication. Yeah. 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 So have okay. you looked at Trauma. some of his work from when he was like 11, 12 years old with Hot I, Boys? I, I, I heard some like like like. Hey, yo, the one I, yeah. I told you about, he was always showing me. Okay. His old some stuff. Of his stuff. Okay. I, I, Wayne, Wayne is Wayne, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, Wayne is dope. Wayne's so what's dope. your process? Is it like his where you don't write nothing down? Basically, I just go oh, into wow. the I go into the booth. I, you know, I drink, I smoke, and I hear the beat, and I just uh, I start spitting. I have a question. Yeah, yeah, two. Definitely. Is that okay? Yeah, no, two. No, no, no. Uh, do you write without without that? I, I, I write sometimes. I'm starting to write more now, but I, I really don't write. You know, right. Okay, and then my second question is, do you consider someone a legit rapper if they have to write? If they don't do ciphers, they don't they can't rap off the top of their head. No, I feel rap, rap is rap. 
So if they're right, they're still a rapper. Yeah, they're still I was just what, oh, okay. What's I had a personal right. experience. With I feel, I feel, this I feel, this I feel, is a question. I feel like that's, that's a big actually, question. I feel yeah. like that's actually deeper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm now you're expressing question. yourself in a way. You taking time, man. You 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 really want to make sure what you're saying say is right. reaching somebody mm. in so a good way. You know what I'm saying? So I was gonna say, I'm what is right. the whole thing about? Writing and not writing, like I mean, some people. Like, I, know, nah, I don't I write. Know, I never really like, understood. Like, yeah, know, I like, get mad. I get mad when people go to radio stations and, and nah, they be like, write. "Oh, yeah," or, or like, or like they 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 freestyle and you know, people in the comments be like, "Oh, he came with that written." Yeah, yeah. It's like it don't matter. Yeah. You know, <laughs> still came. Like, I'm trying to be perfect. Created, you know what yeah. We we talked about this a lot. Was the culture was the freestyle used to be? Yeah, the freestyle culture was how sharp were you on the spot? How how could you? Come you up know, with show stuff how like witty that. you were, yeah. right? Now, if you got something written mm -hmm. and it's called the freestyle, mm -hmm. right? Then then it's you shouldn't a, come with something written. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a freestyle, like when you see battle rappers, mm -hmm. that's written. That's you know written. that's written. I, I always, so that's, always so that's understood. Written. That's understood. But when you in a freestyle, like you said in the cipher, like like cipher your freestyle, yeah. it shouldn't be written. It shouldn't that's be that's yeah. the culture yeah, and how definitely. it started. But that's why they say I respect. I respect written versus writing a song. That's different. When you put on an event or something like that, you don't want rappers coming stumbling though too. Yeah, so like yeah. some some from, from we but actually, if you honor your craft yeah you honor your craft you'll be all right but so what we've done too we actually give the artists the the beat that they're gonna rap to okay um mm. as and well a teleprompter. sometimes so i mean <laughs> you Whoa. must have a ghostwriter. He must come yeah. at seven forty-five. Nah, but you're uh, understudy. No, but case. um, we've done <laughs> that <laughs> recently. Like recently, the first ones was without it, and then we kind of mix them up. Sometimes I want to hear. Which one was better? Um, they both was like they have both been fired. Yeah, These yeah, artists yeah. been coming with some heat, man. Yeah, like definitely, definitely. So it's been really dope. But uh, and then at the end they do that, and then sometimes they still like spit something else. Like yeah. you know what I mean? And so yeah, it's yeah, like, I feel, I feel like it's all the, with the, the flow. The go with trick. To freestyling, mm -hmm. kinda is like you can say some of your written, but you mix it in with something. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad. I'm I'm I've done that. I've done that. I've done that. I've done that. I've done that sometimes. I'm yeah. so glad you, you said that. Yeah. You know, bars yes. off a song, you know, and then you kick it off with something different. I've done yeah. that. I've That's done the Y'all know DNA who smashed. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. He's one. I think he's one of the top, top. He's freestyle one of, the of like all time. His like, his yeah, personality yeah. is, is, I think his personality yeah mm -hmm. is crazy with his rhymes yeah because he adds so much like oh my goodness animation and yeah. it goes <laughs> so yeah, it's like yeah. oh like yeah, he's he, he gets you into it because his personality yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that's true. Yeah. So what's mm -hmm. your preference as a hip hop artist when it comes to writing? Mm. I mean, some of the the the, the greatest rappers write. Yeah. Nas wrote. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't knock nobody right. I'm not I asking about Nas like though. Like I'm not saying about you. No, I think I think I think I think what happened is is that is that you're not answering the question. Were you a writer? No, I wrote. No, I could freestyle. Bravo would love to not answer questions. I wrote. Yeah. I I will write. So will you rap right now? No, I don't rap no more. I was just trying. I was trying. I was trying. It was worth yeah, the shot. I, yeah, listen, yeah. listen. If, I, I shot. If I, I, knew this I needed coming, to shoot my shot. I would have brought the old notebooks with me. <laughs> that would have been a different thing. Yeah. But um, I think I think writing. I think what happened is that because of some big artists years mm -hmm. ago mm -hmm. didn't write. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That everybody thinks they shouldn't write. They think that if I'm not writing. I'm nice. Uh, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that's why a lot of people are like, yo, I don't write my rhymes. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. And they're like, terrible. Like, yeah. I'm like, maybe you yeah. should. Yeah. 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 Maybe you <laughs> should <laughs> write. You should write. My thing is this. In practice. Writing, right. Like, there uh, is nothing wrong, wrong with, because right. if, you, if you're writing it, if you write it, you actually are taking time to kind of figure so, yeah, out yeah, definitely what you flow what you want to and say. everything, what you're going. Mm -hmm. A lot of people mm -hmm. who, who do free... Uh, who don't write their rhymes is because they was running around a lot. That's yeah, their exactly. story. Yeah. I never wrote because I was running around, Man, so well, I had I don't to have just time, think about yeah. it in my That's head. That's Jay Z. In my head. Right. Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, and I did. And I swear I didn't even know this until I seen the interview. Mm. Styles P freestyles everything. Mm. Wow, I didn't everything. Know that. He said everything from even with Jadakiss, all of those wow. back to back bars. Everything he's never wrote every, never. anything down. Yeah. I never but, even knew that. Yeah. I, I agree, but I also think that people say, like, I am a writer, and then the problem becomes when they're not. 
so then it's like you're 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 lying so then Mm -hmm. it's it's like being authentic to what you know how to do and then present yourself in that light and then get more respect because you are coming to the table with something that you actually know how to do right and i think also too writing makes you a better artist now because now you can if it you open write your mind, a rap, it opens your mind up more. You can you write you R&B. Can out better. Yeah, you, you can write a drum for R and B yeah, artists now. Now you definitely. can put other artists in a position exactly. to to help them out definitely. when you're writing. Definitely. Definitely. So it's nothing wrong with writing, man. Definitely. It's not, I'm, I'm, I, been, I ain't gonna lie. I've been working it's on necessary. writing. Kobe, Kobe practices, man. Kobe used yeah, to practice right? every day. He didn't just come to the court and be and nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice. Kobe, Kobe, so, you know Kobe I mean? used to I get there first and leave last. Alan Iverson practices. I look at it the same way. Get there first and leave last. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, start, I'm, start, I'm starting. I'm starting to start write. Right. He's like, yo, yeah, you know, I'm writing tonight. He's writing tonight. But the problem with me is, I feel like I get writer block. You know what I'm saying? Like I sit down and it's like, man, I, I want to say so much that it's like. I don't know what I want to say. Do you have <laughs> to live in the though? Do you have to rap? I, I'm one of those. Yeah, I'm okay. one of those. I definitely I, I would, have to, definitely I would have to listen. That that I would, feel, I feel, because yeah. I feel like the beat talks to me, you know. Yeah. So I feel like I, I listen to the beat. and It's like whatever, whatever mood it gets me in, like that's that's what I'm, you know, what I'm saying that's what I spit. I, yeah. I, 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 I used to draw. Like I actually yeah. like had like art and design schools and yeah. stuff like that for like my portfolio and stuff. But I used to oh, like wow. just sit in a room and like look at the wall. And just like imagine things, yeah, and I yeah, see definitely. things like on the wall, like, and I just and you just start writing thinking. in your mind. It's like yeah, you got you yourself it. took out a notebook. Definitely, that's a fact. So definitely. like I used to do that. I I didn't know what I was gonna draw before I drew it, mm. but I would look at the wall, look at something, just think of something, and just start yeah, going. Definitely. And then I used to like to look at pe- like pictures and faces and stuff mm-hmm, like that. And mm-hmm. I used to draw like yeah, that. Definitely. But I, as a as a uh, artist, I would think that hearing a beat. I now can rap about Man. something or a situation exactly. that I went through. Like, yo, I'm gonna cool. rap about that. But it's, it's Super dope. Yeah. Well. So before, and then we got about five minutes left. We definitely gotta get into handles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's coming up? So mm-hmm. Joy De Niro. How'd, how'd you get your name, Joy De Niro? By the way, uh, I used to get Light. <laughs> well, so oh, nice. my my oh. name was Joy Light. So hey. basically, mm-hmm. and you know, as I got older, it's like you know, mm-hmm. you get you in the streets, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. My motivation always been get money. Get light. All right. Yeah, so, so Joy Dinero. Joy Dinero, basically. So tell me your handle. What, how to get to your music. Or um, work my with handle, you. you know, Joy Dinero. You know, you can search me up on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. J-O-Y. Mm-hmm. Dinero. D-I-N-E-R-O. Mm-hmm. On YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'm working on getting all my stuff on Spotify and all that now. Okay. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. F-T-F. D-R-O. Mm-hmm. It's F-T-F. Do for the family. Okay. Well, we got a, um, it's a closing line we got that is like involved with my label, which is him. It's okay. You know, for the him and his brother, which is because they're brothers. They so wearing it now? That's it right there? No, we don't okay. got it now. I should have came with it, man. Yeah, absolutely. I should have yeah. came with it. I slacked on that. I ain't going to lie. It's Man, you know, la- it's like last night was a long night. I didn't even make it home. <laughs> Halloween. Yeah, yeah, I didn't I even make it home. But we're glad you made it here. That's love, though. Okay. Foxy, what's your handles? What's the I got. I got a few. So, all right. So, check it. My artist page is KFHOX. That's everything. Twitter, it's official, KFHOX. It's K Fox, Catherine Epoxy. My children's book is hashtag, or not, handle, whatever that is. Mm-hmm. Screaming to be free, all one word. That's on Instagram. The book is available in Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and Kindle. And all my music's on iTunes, blah, 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 as KFHOX. Mm-hmm. My website's KFHOX.com. And any events you'll be at, I will be performing at the New York City Marathon this mm-hmm. Sunday. I will be performing oh, nice. tomorrow at Funk Bronx. Fridays. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, you can catch it actually on Facebook, I believe. I will be performing in Nashville mm-hmm. December 1st. Okay. I will be at the Grammys in February. Yep. Wow. I will be in Arizona. In Oh, no, I'll be in Miami this mm-hmm. month mm-hmm. for the books featured at the Miami Inter- International Book Fair the mm-hmm. week of November 15th to the 18th. Yeah, I need that schedule. I'm yeah, yeah that's it. Send me that. I'm a fan. Yeah. 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 Have your manager. Yeah. Have your manager yeah. send me. Yeah. Have manager send I'll have my manager yeah. send it to yeah. your manager. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me and me. Yeah. Which is me. Yeah. Oh, Which is me. Right. Which is me. It's you. Right. H2O, talk to um, us. Um, my Instagram right. handle is H2O5. Um, that's the O. <laughs> not not zero. Um, Balling for Peace, B-A-L-L-I-N, the number four in the word peace. H twelve music underscore H twelve basketball and um, <laughs> yeah. So my next event is uh, I have bars November sixteenth. Yep, that's at uh, Hall of Fame Multi Studios in Queens. That's gonna be dope. 
Um, what time is that? That's from 8 to 11.30. All right, cool. um, then I have uh, Bowling for Peace, the bowling edition. We mm. back. But what? We had, yeah, Lucky Bowling strike. for Peace? Yeah. For bowling for different. Peace, but the bowling edition. So oh, everything is Bowling for Peace. Still. It's, yeah. it's still a bowling. Bowling. Yeah. That's so um, that's going to be November 30th at uh, Lucky Strikes. Um, in mm. Times Square, uh, 42nd, 42nd yeah. and 12th. Oh, yeah, yep. yeah, definitely. So that's going to be by dope. By the Piers. Yep, by the yeah, Piers. Yeah, yep. yep. So um, we're doing that. And we have um, uniforms for that this mm-hmm. year. We got like, like the Bronx got the pinstripe joints. Mm-hmm. You know, the, mm-hmm. uh, Manhattan got the New York Knicks colors and that's stuff. Right. So, right. Right. What Queens got? Um, yeah. Queens got green. Money green. <laughs> Queens, money green. Green. Queens yeah. get the money yeah. long time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yep, yep. So <laughs> we doing that. You could go on Eventbrite and, and purchase your player tickets. Because you, you play is $50. You get your bowling shoes and your um polo and it's a tournament so oh, that we amazing. got trophies and everything oh, this year we're gonna have um we're gonna make sure that we start the uh, lanes on time everybody's in their mm. own lane and everything we're starting mm. on time um after the first round we're gonna pick the final four after that we took take the top one mm. and whoever wins wins it's also a toy drive so bring your toys so and yeah, everything too so yeah last year was yeah. a zoo yeah, yeah. it was crazy it was animals crazy. Yeah. animals god damn zoo yeah that was, a, that, was the first time. that was the first time i opened it up to, <laughs> to the yeah. public oh, oh man, man. Oh, man. <laughs> No, it was, it was, was the lanes <laughs> were flooded. I Yo, remember people crazy. throwing like, bowling balls at yeah, people. Like, the lanes rock. were so flooded. The oh, hustle was, was there. The hustle. It was a concert. It was a concert. <laughs> <laughs> Camouflage as a yeah. bowling event. Yeah. Got Clay, right, right. the guy. Yeah, it was actually H two O music. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's what it was. Slash okay. bowling yeah, yeah. Thanks y'all right. for coming out, Joy yeah. Danelle. Yeah. I appreciate Thank you for having me, man. Hip hop well, point of view. Man. We got to do our promos yeah. and yeah. video yeah. Yeah. pictures. Well, we out. Yeah. 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 I appreciate y'all having me, bro.